episode, it's not a spoiler. No, it was some two people weeks ago. In. And some people <laughs> came in who probably like, hey, where's Tleem? I didn't catch this episode. Ha ha. Ha ha. There are beasts all over the shop. Another gas can, is that you? We're not okay. All right. Money. All right. All right. We lost our capitalist. We it's have time. to become a communist party. Oh, sorry. Continue. Time. <laughs> Yes, sorry, Cab isn't ahead. here to press the funny button. <laughs> it's time here. My, it's, it's time here, my little gooners. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that shit out loud in front Don't of my presence. <laughs> anyway. All right, chat, count us down. Salad. Oh. Come on, chat. Because I'm delaying because there's like one thing that's broken. I've been trying to fix it this entire fucking time. No, that's oh, no. up! You're, you're counting up! Well, we gotta start for 321. <laughs> no! Alright, 320. No! 319. You had one, you had one job! Alright. <laughs> Alrighty, everyone. Are you ready for another exciting episode of the Red Guns? I missed to leave. <laughs> <laughs> You should put a little tombstone. Oh my gosh, a tombstone! Oh, I'll do that. Send <laughs> yeah, me, get me please? a tombstone image, and then I will, I will put it on there. Okay, hold on. So, uh, tombstone. So, yeah. So as as you do that, as you do that, welcome everyone back to Rockoons. Hope everyone's been having a fantastic time. Thanks for coming back to our Pathfinder Second Edition little homebrew campaign. I am your host and game master today, Zoran the Bear. And uh, remember, if you really like what we do here and stuff. And uh, you would like to support these types of endeavors and these types of projects, you can always head over to patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration or watch us on YouTube or here on Twitch and everything all under narrative declaration. You get PDFs, awesome things. You can also do complications. We roll natural ones. And live on Twitch, you can donate bits to help out the players and also ruin them well, with our hero points within villain point system, which if you're in chat, you can do exclamation point hero points in the chat to figure out how that all works. But of course, we have amazing players here today, and we're missing one. We're missing one due to so, previous episodes' <laughs> escapades. <laughs> so I have people in chat who are like, Gray, you're facing the wrong way. And the funny oh. he who way is, I can't stand to look at the empty space where, 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 where Talim once was. Oh, right. But you the, are. Truth of it, the truth of it is, uh, we're using the VTube Studio collab function, and my model usually faces this way, and I can't flip it. Oh, yeah. we do the you we do can't? the flipping through the uh the the magic of uh yeah the, f OBS. the flip the flipping like feature flip is only for the webcam. Oh, I thought there was like a like a you could click control shift or something and uh, no, uh, no. try it on your end, Froggy, as we because no. you know where no. it is and see if it's, it works or not. not work. ah, it, no, it's not working. Okay. I just try. I just tried and I died. <laughs> Speaking but, of uh, dying, I sent you the tombstone. <laughs> thanks. I'll uh. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. We're gonna we're gonna add this little guy on here. <laughs> we're gonna free use clip art right there for you. <laughs> we're gonna get Talim all set up. But as as I'm getting this set up, uh, why don't we go down the row and you guys introduce yourselves, starting off with Minerva. Hello, my name is Minerva, aka Party Demon S. I'm a variety streamer on Twitch and full time content creator, and I'm an artist and all a VTuber, and I'm just a problem. I'm just a problem. <laughs> And you are more than welcome to be a problem in my neck of the woods. Anyway, Talib's dead, so Cab's not next. <laughs> uh, hello, Good Time Zone. I'm Froggy Locke. I'm a professional artist, a live 2D rigger, and a variety streamer here on Twitch. But you can find me on all sorts of other social media platforms uh, under the social media handle of uh, Cabal. And uh, today I will be playing Beatles Above, the level five Kobold Investigator. Yes, that's right. You can find me on twitch.tv uh, at forward slash cabal. Yes. We are all cabal. We are all cabal. <laughs> all right. Yeah. My name is Snalty Jub, uh, or Schnalty Schnub, as our dearly departed partner used to say. 
you can find me uh, everywhere as Salty Job. I draw funny art, uh, which you guys at home that listen to the podcast will never see. Um, but um, <laughs> just, yeah, just dunk it on him. <laughs> I pl- I play Heart, the level five mountain stance monk, and now the sole frontliner of this party. <laughs> It's like I don't know if even actually established like a frontliner. I think it was no. uh, <laughs> like I think it was just kind of like just Talim just had a buckler, which is pretty much meant to here's plus one AC, and that's all it's meant for. Like <laughs> you yeah. don't want to block with that thing. The the right answer is that funnily enough, uh, due to being an entire martial team, the rot goons are all good in melee. <laughs> we are all capable melee fighters. Speak for yourself. You can still swing but, uh, the funny sword. No. But I have to ask. I have to ask everybody. Uh, a thing I like to do ever so often, I mean, one's new to the show, is I like to ask the players to basically to see if they can recall what happened last episode. And if they do remember, which is which is a fun tool I like to do, like I encourage you to do it at your table and encourage the player who actually sits down and takes notes and pays attention. And, um, and for our table, that basically if they get most of the summary right, uh, I give them like two hero points, which they can use to reroll d20s and stuff uh, if they fail a roll or whatever. And sometimes it makes the rolls worse, and so it's always yeah. a fun thing. But if they horribly mess up, I get two villain points, which means I get to, I will increase my total of three, which I'm capped right now, which are caps three uh, of them, so we don't get too busy with it. Uh, I'll increase my cap if I need to. So don't mess up. Uh, who would like Fucked to up. recap what happened last time? I actually have a request Uh oh. since uh i did the thing last time uh, and due to it like being very eventful uh in, during the last session i think that cab should do the recapping what <laughs> but Wait. uh b- but since he's not here i mean uh, I, t- I took notes <laughs> You just point you out your dead friend casually like that, like just. Damn! I can't believe the the narrator Cabal is also dead. D- don't mind that he's in chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're all just gonna sit here in silence and look at the chat box. <laughs> well, yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna watch chat for Cab's recap. He's gonna type it all up for us. All right. Yeah. Yeah, him and his little 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 dinky laptop that he's just kind of struggling in his little the worst podcasting chair. episode so far. <laughs> We're gonna go. Oh yeah, remember that silence. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you yeah, go. So last time on Rockoons, <laughs> yeah, but but seriously though, so we could move on for time. Uh, who would like to? Yeah, sure. I got it. Okay, I got it. I, will I haven't you. even I haven't even set from like when we were doing the pregame stuff. Wow. <laughs> there was the Goot Goon song. Froggy talking about a killing a backpack boy. Why would the you The Gooter. Take- the sandwich Why? the Gooter. <laughs> Why did you take notes on this? Oh, that got Come fan on. art, by the way. It sure did. The sandwich? Do you think we could get a sponsor from like Firehouse or something? I don't think <laughs> any <laughs> rightful <laughs> human being would ever make a sandwich called the Gooner. But now that we've made Except- a sandwich, we could get a sandwich sponsor. Except our fans. If you make the Gooner at home, please share. <laughs> Shit, I just it with my hands and I spilled more vitamin water on my keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome to Rock Last time. Yeah, welcome to Rock Goons. Well, this is what you're in for. <laughs> Like, I don't know why you're you're watching this episode in the middle of everything, but you know, if you're new here, hey, this is this is what you're here for. Sorry. Okay, All right. sorry. G- good job, Froggy. Good job. After what felt like pulling teeth, the party was finally able to get the final statue from Lex to complete the puzzle. We proceeded to fumble our way through comforting the boy, and it was a time. The statue is finally placed, and after a moment, a huge sound is heard deeper within the structure shaking the room. Nobody liked that. (laughs) The group decided to investigate the sound by going through the way they came, only to find the door locked. Hart decided to simply bust down the door, just to be greeted by a massive green eyeball and fleshy tendrils that had planted themselves within the wall. Not long after, we can hear some distant sobs of an unknown man. We decided it was uh, better to keep the door shut and take our chances with the trauma room door. This was a mistake. 
There's a clattering behind the door and moving of plates and distant laughter. Gray would be the one to open the door, and the scene before the group was that of the Elmas, Hollick, and a kobold which they'd made a deal with in the past named Gippik. All surrounding a table, they're eating, just having a grand old time. The group was once again offered food, but uh, they quickly declined as it was not quite on the level. Beetle decided he wasn't having any of these shenanigans and shot what looked to be a suspicious suit of armor in the corner. Surprise! The armor was actually a creature and it was actually awful. It had a withering man strapped to its shield that would begin to scream upon the armor being damaged. Too many natural 20s and natural 1s were rolled at the worst times, and a complication caused stray bolts and bullets to sh be shot back at the group. Gray being shot with her own bolt in the arm, and later a bullet landed in Talim's back, much to his dismay. And Froggy <laughs> screaming. Um. <laughs> Eventually, the knight would be defeated, and the false holic would clap and congratulate the group. The Elmas would just continue to go goad them on and mentioning Brug, or Buck, on accident, uh, being absolutely done with everything, Hart flipped the table. The Elmas were crushed, only for Hollick to remain. Uh, the talisman decided to show up again and wrap itself around Hart's wrist out of nowhere, as is its wont, and totally not Hollick would proceed to taunt him with some cryptic shit. There's a lot of back and forth with Hollick, more cryptic bullshit, and Beetle tries to shoot him again, but Froggy rolls a one. And the, the, the <laughs> that was the bricks. Talim is shot again. <laughs> Hart shoves Holic into the <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Hart shoves Holic into the fireplace. He seems just to be able to walk out. Still burning, by the way. He talks about a certain job needing to be done and how we need to be more. About something about they, not explaining who they are. How they are trying too hard and needing to be stopped. Eventually, with some more back and forth, he puts a gem inside of the amulet and calls Hart pathetic. Beetle doesn't like this and just throws his whole goddamn gun at him. Hart didn't cry. He totally cried. Uh, the party takes some time to heal up. Uh, they decide to go south and they see the door to the south to see Brug sobbing. He simply says he ate her in his sobs and phases through the door further south, not walking through it, he phased through it. So they open the door and surprise, there's another eye. Don't like that. Talim pokes the eyeball and it goes slurp and a door opens before them. The room is full of crystal corpses. Some fall on top of heart after a complication. It's awful. While they're trying to figure out where to go, for, go to from there, uh, all the corpses decide to wake the fuck up and start to swarm Talim. Great googly moogly, it's all gone to shit. The group fights for their lives and it doesn't go well at all. Almost everyone gets gra grappled and the party can't kill the crystal zombies fast enough as more rise up to fill their place. Among the chaos, Beetle finds an exit through some roots of the plants, but it's too late. Uh, Talim is overwhelmed and downed and the stress of this made my tummy hurt. I was not brave about it. At one point, Hart exploded into a massive scary wall of arms and hands and he tears down the wall. That was also very scary. Lex books it after doing literally nothing. He's just been kind of there the whole time. <laughs> Beetle retrieves what's left of Talim's shield and everyone decides to just book it from there. Following Beetle, they go up to the stairs back to where, from where they came from and they're greeted by a tentacle hiding along, along the staircase. It grabs uh, Beetle for a second and kind of decides, nah, I'm, I'm good. And it recedes to go up uh, back up the stairs. And so the group runs up, up the stairs and that is where we left off. <laughs> you got the names, everything. That that deserves two hero points. Damn straight! Yay! Good this is job. Why I, this is why I needed help with uh, with it last time when Salty uh, helped me because I'm not eloquent at all. <laughs> You're good. My okay. eyes good. are itchy. My eyes are just itchy and leaky. Oh yeah, I'm not crying. <laughs> it was Miser definitely not having, crying. Uh, my eyes are having an <laughs> here. <laughs> It's allergies. I'm allergic to ghosts. It'll go away soon because sleep's dead. I'm allergic to losing friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that we got everything. <laughs> to leave was shot again! <laughs> <laughs> not again. Not again. 
But with all of that, it is true. You guys, last week caught you all. You guys were running up the stairs after encountering a tentacle. You, uh, you guys are pretty much fleeing for your lives. And last that we've kind of last off, left off, you notice that everything still around the walls and everything around you is still feel filled with horrible flesh and viney like appendages pretty much to the side of the walls. Eye, eyes and tentacles and tendrils seem to eventually cease from being part of the decor as you continue to go upwards and upwards. Uh, up into the staircase. As the further up you go, as the further up you go, you start to see what you saw before. The room, the hallway that you saw with all the various uh, stone images and things, still the same as they were before. Uh, even the pond's plaque still kind of cracked and messed up and your solution to the puzzle still solved. You continue down the hallway, past some of the kind of embedded house into it as well. Come up the stairs running and you find yourself back at the ruined entrance. And what oh, you see... Fuck. <laughs> And what you see before you, what you see before <laughs> you is a kind of, you start, you start to hear commotion. Just, it's like, he's over there! And as you come up, you see that there is an old man, uh, just basically kind of ducking and weaving a little bit, and just with a flurry of, flurry of some of his hands and the staff that he's holding, you see that this fireball just whoosh, 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 he just, taking out several people and uh, you see bam 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 several of them die in front of you you see that the, some of the tyrants guild folks were still around it is night time when you come back up and you recognize the old man the one who sent you down here Mr. Lorne Barnes You see the old oh. man kind of whip over to you, kind of, oh God, you're still alive. <laughs> and he, he, he kind of comes up to you all. One of us like, isn't. Oh. oh, sorry, I'm trying to, for some reason, oh. your token isn't showing yeah, on the thing. Yeah, Rocky's what, invisible. What, what <laughs> it's like oh. your token disappeared. Oh. Hold up. Hmm. I'm going to delete you from existence and uh, yeah, kill me. there you go. Oh, hey, I'm back. You should back. Woo. Uh, you'll see that Lauren will come up to you all and go, You've been gone, you've been gone for nearly an entire week! A yeah, week? Some, some warning about what we were getting into would have been nice! Beetle. Like warning? Yeah! Beetle. What? She said a week. How long do you think we were down? It didn't feel like a week. <laughs> Beetle has like that, you know, the do 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 do, Whee! and there's like a still frame. So he just like yeah. looks off into the middle space and he's holding to leave shield and he just zones for a quick beat and then he comes back and he's like I didn't even eat once I don't even feel hungry there's something down there if I lots have of something shield you see Lauren kind of looking left and right you see his bedraggle obviously the the old man's been exerting effort here and you see that the campsite and stuff like I didn't edit the map map any but like the, the camp would have been more developed but it seems that Lauren here is taking care of any obstacles that you guys would have encountered coming back up and he goes I was like it's like tell, 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 tell me all about it back in hours come come with me and uh, he will motion you guys over he's like we have to get out of here as, as quick as we can the tyrant skills know something very wrong here Let's go. And so Lauren will lead you all away through the various alleys of the pond's palaster inside of the, the city of Outset. Let me get you guys to the map. That wasn't a drum roll. That's the sound of our feet. Yeah, <laughs> your little, your little pitter patters. <laughs> so as you guys are returning back to the pond's palaster, you, you're now journey with Lauren. He's he's kind of going through various alleyways and he kind of puts his finger up to his lips and 
waiting for a patrol of Tyrant's Guild uh, guards coming by. You see some of the militia, or practically the army here, an outside of undead creatures going by with, with glaives and with glaives, shields, and sort of a surco surcoat outfit. As he kind of he kind of motions everyone to wait for a moment. He's like, "We're, we're waiting for this whole patrol to pass." But it's like, "What took you all so long? It, it's it's nearly a nearly a week has passed. We thought you all dead. I came to investigate to make sure, you know, to see if you perished or not. And everyone at Alma's been worried about you all." Hard Beetle. pokes Beetle, oh. we, uh, like Beetle. Oh. The papers about the thing, about what they did there. The, yeah. the, the ledger? The thing with the crystals. All right! And then, so Beetle tucks into his fanny pack and he pulls out the experiment notes, the prison ledger, which contains records from 20 years ago, and also the map. He takes it all out and holds it up to Lorne. He's like, Lauren will, will take the papers and start perusing them. You just hear him just old yeah. man bumble at it. <laughs> yeah. So those, uh, yeah. those ones, not those ones. These ones, yeah. Look at those ones. Those are related directly to all the bullshit that was happening outside. And then that's a map of the inside of that, the, the little hole, the, 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 the temple hole thing. And then those over there, we found those inside of the hole. It, there was like a whole prison complex and stuff under like this big fancy chamber, which is kind of weird. We encountered creatures that looked like they were feeding off of magic. Talim is gone. They could eat a ghost, sir. They ate Talim. They ate Talim. Peter looks at the shield in his hands. <sighs> Lauren will, Lauren will look at the the shield and all of you, and will go, "That's uh, tell me, uh, d describe the creature that you saw that was feeding on on a what? Uh, not alive, full of gems, especially their backs, lots of gems, and the gems would like pulse in response to magic, and there there were these." Uh, trees that were not trees, but they they bit into them and it seemed to do something to them. It looked more like, like it, flesh than plant. It, it looked like a flesh plant. It, it looked like, like veins. Something for the creature. Oh. Mm -hmm. And he, he kind of peruses the documents a little bit more and he's like, the, the crystals pulsate with on them on these creatures yeah. you saw yeah they could have been discarded bodies from these experiments that were being done I don't know Master Lorne the rot was potent within that dungeon there was there were beings and rooms that existed from out of time itself. Let's see, Lauren will, he's stroking his, he, he's stroking his beard as he's taking all of this in and go, I'm gonna have to research a little bit more, but whatever you do, if you find any more of these crystal-like creatures, you have to tell me, because if my suspicions are correct, they're definitely not from here and outset, but I need I need to confirm. I need to confirm more. And he will he kind of take the piece of paper, take out his own little quill, and he's just making notes. You just see him just rapidly scribbling on one of the stone walls, and he'll look over to you, and go, please check to see if the patrol is gone yet. You know, it's like, done. And if anyone ah. notices, like he you just sees just a bunch of complicated things being written on the scroll. And you see that he's like, oh shit, about basically what you yeah. just told him. Yeah, so, we don't keep Gra talking Gra even though. Grail, go and keep a lookout, see if everything's uh, kosher. Yeah. Roll me a perception Beetle check. talks, even though Lorne is like very focused. If Beetle doesn't care, Beetle keeps talking. He's a little fucking gooner. Uh, uh, I rolled an 18 for a total, total 27. Let's go. Beetle says, uh, 
not from the Pods Blaster, as in you think we went somewhere, or could they just be from uh, un under the Pods Blaster? You know, like the under. If my it said that this city goes deep, does it not? Yeah, it goes deep. You don't think we like went somewhere else, right? That's not like a weird paradox going on in that hole over there. <laughs> with your roll of a twenty-seven gray, you do notice that the patrol has passed. You see a really good avenue, the the get past everything now. Hey, we could probably finish this talk at the Elmas. We're clear. Ah. We'll just we'll talk more down much. Let's go. And then you'll see Lauren will just quickly roll up the piece of paper that you gave him and, like, and uh, he will lead you all through. And it takes you a while. Uh, it takes you a while to get back. You guys are more than likely exhausted from uh, obviously dealing with the thing that you have just dealt with and traveling through the city and all the winding paths and stuff of the Pond's Blaster. And as you guys are led back to Lauren, you arrive back to Elma's when it turns the day. And as he arrives through and stuff with you all, I'm going, like, let's, let's rest now, collect our thoughts, and we'll discuss everything that you found down there uh, in the morning. Well, pretty much later on in the day. It's morning now. <laughs> he looks up and just looks dead at the sun, going, I forgot what the game for the voice of this guy said for a second. Whoops. <laughs> he'll, uh, he'll, it's morning when we wake up. <laughs> exactly, gamer moment, and he'll uh, he'll lead you all through the <laughs> lead you all through uh, the Elmas. Oh, and while you were away, um, uh, I believe I believe uh, Elma, one of the Elmas, or I think it was Helga, 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 Thelma, Thelma, Thelma wants to speak with you. All right, Hell time to grieve will happen later. Apparently a messenger came in last night for you all. Messenger? Yeah, and that's why I came out to go find you all. We were all worried on it, and that was kind of the straw that uh, broke the shabbles back. So, you want uh, to go uh, speak hey. with them. Are, no. are, the, are the tyrants still uh, recruiting? They're very active out there. Let's say that um, something tipped them off, that something was happening in that ruin. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, let's go inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Grail, Grail, start slowly padding towards the the door. She's she's tired. She wants a nap. You open the door and you see you see uh, Thelma <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> Shut the door back. <laughs> <laughs> she's doing the interface. <laughs> Stands there opening and closing the door. <laughs> As you enter inside, you'll see that Thelma will greet you all going, Oh, good, you're alive! Oh, thank goodness! And you see that Thelma will come over and in a surprising show of affection, will, <laughs> will immediately start patting Beetle and everything into like a kindly old grandma. I got, oh, good. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank the kings. You're, li you're alive. Uh, Beetle's tail wags when he's pet like a dog. <laughs> good dog. <laughs> We are <laughs> missing someone, but uh, we are what? mostly in one piece. One of us didn't make it. Oh. He got eaten, and Beetle turns, and he's still holding the shield, but he's holding it horizontal like a plate. Is it uh, slowly, like, coming back into becoming a very material object instead of being ghostly? Yeah, it's it's fading. <gasps> no! It's a, You see the, the ghostly, you know, touch of Talim is basically just fading off the shield a little bit. No! You see that uh, the Mama Thelma will, will will take hold of the shield and um, and she's and she kind of she'll, she'll take it up and goes we'll hang it up. Okay. He was a good capitalist if I've ever saw one. <laughs> <laughs> the best. And you see that. The best that, of the uh, best. She will, she'll head over here and like to the back of the bar here. She'll like hang it up, <laughs> you know, and. 
Beetle pulls out his tongue and wipes his eyes with it. <laughs> he licks up his tears with his tongue. Gray will slowly go over towards the uh, the bar and just kind of plop and collapse into his seat. Yeah, just could, I pl- could you ahead. please help me? What's that, dearie? And she's and she's getting tankards all ready for you all. Like she gets she gets four and then kind of stops for a moment and puts one away and gets three, and then she will oh, come up no! to the bar. <laughs> and she'll come up to the bar, and um, you know, certain feeling you guys uh, would just like like just basically just uh, some beer or whatever, just something light. You don't need anything heavy, and uh, she'll just slide it over as you're addressing her. And she'll say, "What can I get you, sweetheart?" Could you help me with a thing? What's that, dear? Um, heart is still like shipped and torn and still like bleeding ichor everywhere. Uh, could you get me something to clear my stomach? I'm a bit, I'm built different and I don't <laughs> know how to, to get that out. <laughs> And, like, and yeah. Mr. And Mr. Barnes over there, he seems to know what is going on. I would like to give him some, some, some stuff. And I have that stuff. And he points down at his stomach in here. Yeah. Beetle climbs up onto a stool and like leans to look around Gray, just kind of staring at the side of Hart's head. Like, what the fuck is brother waffling about? <laughs> <laughs> I ate some guys and I would like to show Mr. Ah. Lord. Lorne Barnes, some of the guys. And so she's like, uh-uh. all right. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, here you go. It's like, it's a little bit cold, but the soup's still good. You know, we're still prepping everything in the morning, and she'll uh, slide over some soup to you. But that'll fix you right up. It's hell of a special. No, no, no. I want it out in, like, you know, Oh, yeah, it'll get you out. So Oh. <laughs> no, but like oh. in, no, but like intact so he can look at it. Why is it solid? It's more like a rock, but you know. Then I'll patch this fine. Here you go. <laughs> okay. This is where we, we take- serve the customers who are just a bit testy. Art takes the soup and walks over to Beetle and goes, Hey, Beetle, do you think you can cut it out? Uh, yeah, buddy, but if I do, I don't know that you're going to want to eat that. Okay. Yeah. Here, you, yeah, you, you might. Just... You too, if you do that, you might want to do that not in the main space. You will do yeah. it outside, right out the front door, but we'll do it fast. No! So it, won't, it won't affect clientele, it won't affect customers. Hold on, and Beetle will down his drink and just like, ah, like revel in it, like he's in a Coke commercial, not sponsored. Yeah. And then he'll put the <laughs> mug down. Yeah, and he'll he'll turn around and he'll jump off and start digging through his fanny oh, pack for um, his surgical tools, which are all loose in there. None of them are safely secured. Beetle. Yeah. Hart points down at the shield that Beetle is still carrying around. Do you no, wanna... it's on the wall right now. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, he gave right. it. Beetle, do you... You want to do this now? You don't want to... You don't rest for a bit? Do you, uh... Uh... I saw you grow a couple extra appendages there, and, you know, that's nothing to be ashamed of. You know, everybody's <coughs> body is different, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, but... I'm still I'm still growing, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, I don't know what you mean by that, and I'm very tired. I'm very tired, so I'm gonna look past it, and we're gonna pretend you didn't even say that, okay? Mm. Um, what I was gonna say is, uh, and Beetle starts rubbing one eye. He doesn't close his eyelids at all, he just starts, like, rubbing his eye yeah, yeah, yeah. his hand directly. A string of mucus attached to his hand when he... Yeah, exactly. He yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's like, do you, um, you digest food, right? Do you, di- do you digest food? I think it turns into charcoal. Okay, we're gonna do it right now. We're gonna just come out, just come out. We'll be right back. Okay, I shut the door on yourself. Back, Mr. Barnes. <laughs> uh, Beetle will take Hart outside. When and- when Hart when Hart leaves the presence of an older uh, w- of like two elders, he he starts like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Beetle 
Daniel sees him do that, he just breaks out. He starts fucking crying. They're both just standing there outside, bawling their dumb eyes out. He's <laughs> gone, Beetle. He's fucking gone. And he punches and the wall. I didn't think he was ever going to leave. You know, before he... Before he... Went to the farm upstate. He was talking about how he was going to leave, but I knew it. I was right there with you, and there's no way he was going to leave. He was already dead. Why would he die again? Why would he die again? I didn't even eat a ghost. I didn't even eat a ghost. Fucked up. <laughs> it's stupid. This stupid makes no sense. Bill kicks the wall. Ah! <laughs> Find Beetle. And he kicks the same place where Beetle kicked the wall. Now there's a hole. <laughs> yeah, there's a foot shaped hole. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Let's, uh, is this gonna, uh, uh, God, I don't even, do I, do I even use a numbing agent of any kind? Do you just want me to just get in there and then pack it all back in? I'm tough. Like the clay? All right. I'm tough. You know more about so my body to, than I do. To understand uh, what you're trying to do, you're trying to basically grab the part of the stuff that uh, hard yeah. ate last combat yes. encounter with your tools. Roll me a crafting check, Beetle. Absolutely. Yeah, Beetle will have heart just blank. But, you not, know, flipped plank, like, on his not back. Medical not medical checks? Well, oh, yeah. Do I do crafting or medicine? You're clay, right? You're, you're clay. Crafting. But, I'll do but a crafting he rolls check. Medicine I'll, I'll allow me. medicine. I'll allow medicine. It's but a I surgery. But I want to do crafting. <laughs> <laughs> but crafting yeah, go for is it. one point higher. <laughs> that's a 22. All right. So that's a 12 for a total of 22. Skillfully, you extract the object. Yeah, Beetle cuts hard open. It's like cutting through some hard clay. It's kind of weird, a little dusty. Outside to the elements. Yeah, yeah, yeah to the elements. Don't uh, worry about it. It's fine. Gross black goo splurging everywhere. Beetle just kind of scrungles and tugs body parts out of Hart's stomach. Black, <laughs> weird, viscous organs that make no sense. <laughs> Beetle waves to like a little old lady passing by yeah. on the other side of the bridge. She's like, oh, hey, nothing going on here. He goes back to the surgery and uh, Beetle Be 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 just moves his hand around and be like, what? No again. <laughs> and then once that's done, uh, Beetle will lick and spit on uh, Hart's clay to wet it again and, and pack it back into place. <laughs> yeah, I guess he gets that. This is, just the, 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 the out, sur yes. this is just the surgery simulator rock goons DLC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get some get some spackle on there. Yeah, exactly. It does some caulking. All right. Uh, Beetle gets up and he, he holds out a hand like to help Hart stand up. Thanks, buddy. And he um, and he grabs Beetle's hand and then he he starts bending himself upward by shoving his feet into the ground and then he's <laughs> bending himself upward. <laughs> That's horrific! <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Uh, uh, they're kind of gooey, but here you go. I got uh, I got a foot here for you. You want to take that? The toenails are all crystals, which is pretty neat. I got a, I got a, a fragment of a sternum here. Uh, some crystals on that. I got Yo, a, a you jaw. You got on his face? Yeah, 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 jaw. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, great. yeah, yeah. Here you go. There's a jaw for you, and here is an yeah. entire arm. It's missing the pinky, though, so that's, that sucks a little bit, but here you go. Damn, I swallowed the entire arm like that? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah. That, Dang. Is that impressive, or nah. is it, like, bad? No, that's pretty impressive. Ah, it's bad good. It's, it's, it's bad, bad good. good. That's, like, that's bad. Yeah, aye, like badass, aye. yeah. <laughs> that, that's great. That yeah. Means, that means that maybe Lorne, Mr. Mr. Lorne Barnes might might figure out what these are. Yeah, you take those to him, and we can talk another time about uh you growing up. Yeah. Cause that's weird. Yeah. No, I grow about <laughs> I grow an inch like pretty often. What? Yeah. What? What? Yeah. Hey. But I was. But I was updating my secret medical files that I keep on you guys, and just the other night I was measuring you, and you were the same. As ah, you guys are talking the entire time, the door opens and go, Which one of you goons kicked my fucking building? Points a beetle. <laughs> <laughs> beetle looks at the hole in the wall and looks.
looks back, he's like, yeah, that was me, sorry. <laughs> Get the he's fuck really in strong. here. <laughs> Field drops his head and drags his tail. I know you're in French, damn, and that's no excuse to be damaging my establishment. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I expect you to fix it before, the, before you know, at some <laughs> point, or you'd be paying R for it. Right yeah, away, ma'am. But yeah, before, it, ma but before then, and then Hart just holds out like a sack because I have a bunch of sacks. I have a bunch of pouches uh, because I'm the <laughs> I'm the I'm the carry load. I am the the pack mule, and um, he just holds out a sack that is dripping viscous black goop, uh, full of body parts, over to Mr. Lauren Barnes, and he goes, "Here you go, Mister." Those are the bits. See, Laura. Laura will take and go, Oh, thanks. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you like... should thank Beetle. No, you really don't need to. That's unnecessary. Well, hey, can I have um... another drink, please? <laughs> yeah, 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 same. yeah, sure. <laughs> My stomach's um, pretty empty now. Tell I would like to say me. that while they were they were out there doing the uh, the extraction, Gray has gone through like two more drinks. She looks like a mess. <laughs> <laughs> She is a mess. She'll, uh, she'll basically the samurai is Lauren. Lauren will thank thank you for giving the stuff, and he'll say that he'll he's gonna investigate this. So just just go get some rest, go go sleep, and uh, he'll tell you what he finds uh, through his research. And uh, and and Thelma will get you guys all set up with your rooms and and everything else, and send you off huh. for the night. Again, send you off with some food and some drink to kind of get you guys settled, and. Uh, how in long do you sit them. awake and drink and talk about Talim? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So do we yeah. even fall asleep in our rooms or do we like fall asleep on chairs? No, we have a slumber party in one of the rooms and we just fall yeah. asleep in a pile. Okay. Yeah. okay. I we'll like go that. to Hart's room. We assume that Hart's room will be a little bigger than ours when we get there, and it's not. And it's Hart, actually the smallest. <laughs> it's actually the, the smallest. Mommy. And when Hart sleeps on the bed, his knees are bent over like the bottom of the bed. <laughs> like Cabal <laughs> said, Cabal and Chat says, in a room with four beds? Like, yeah, you could shove one of the spare beds you now have in so Hart can have a. <laughs> 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 no. None of us even mention Lex. Oh, yeah, we, yeah. we, just, we, did, we didn't even notice that Lex left. We yeah, are just you know, crying you know, and so Lex talking about Salim. Just didn't follow you up. You thought he was right behind you guys. What a little brat. What a little dick. Anyway, Talim. <laughs> yeah, that's the entire night. Just like the comment section. Yes. <laughs> and then, uh... I, I be all wake up and like you know crack a noon next day. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Yeah, what we gonna do? Everything else, you'll see that. As you guys Roll wake up in the morning, see that tug. Roll burp. initiative. <laughs> no. Roll the first. Yeah, roll initiative. I'm going Not to. Again. <laughs> but yeah, I'll say you guys uh, be able to have. Any moments you want. Oh god, it's loud. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just switch over to a little bit more jaunty music. You wake up in the morning. Uh, or you probably wake up pretty much later in the day. It's definitely much later in the night. You see the notice that you didn't really hear anything no matter how much you, you stayed up throughout your very long night into the morning. That um, not a lot of customers came through. A lot of customers came through the thing. And uh, with your rest and everything else, go ahead and fill your souls up the full. If you have a wounded condition, feel free to get rid of it. And um, yeah. you. And if you do suffer any nightmares, they're, they're your own. And, uh, you know, and over the memories and everything that you have. You still. You haven't seen Helma around the place yet. And, you know, Lorne has been still stuck inside of his, uh, his, his deluxe suite area, um, the second story of the tavern. And uh, you all kind of come back down to the bar itself, and you see that Thelma is still there. And uh, as you guys come down, you see Thelma ask you all, like, well, you all sleep all right? Mm. 
<laughs> you just I like sure bang did, on your eyes. I sure did lose consciousness at some point. Yeah. But yeah, this gets you right up, but she'll she'll send over uh, a tinkered, uh, which is kind of like uh, kind of black, like like some kind of black liquid inside of it. Like this will take you up just fine. But um, you know, but uh, there was a message for you, by the way. All right. Yeah, yeah for all of you. mentioned that. Uh, there was a messenger who came in by a bizzle bub, a bizzle dub, some guy in the solitude, basically. And for for those who, uh, yeah, so like in the solitude, pretty much pass out sets walls, and um, apparently they got a they got a job for you. Oh, also, Lauren left his payment for you all. It's uh, it's four hundred gold, but I guess you could split the difference. And she slides over the the money bag. <sighs> Thank you. Beetle's lips start quivering again. <laughs> Gray just like lifts her lifts her paw and she just like plops it on Beetle's head. Just plop. <laughs> I know. Tali, Tali was the one that used to count our pay. It's like Beetle divide it be like 133 gold each. So add 133 gold to each of your inventories. Okay. Beetle will count it and split it up fair. <laughs> <laughs> Talim wouldn't have split it up fair. <laughs> <laughs> Talim would have taken his cut for counting. <laughs> he did it for <laughs> He did it for himself. <laughs> Miss him. So, yeah, so as you all sit there, um, that will probably say, yeah, you got a job to try to smuggle someone in. Smuggle? Into, into what? Smuggling, Backing. like Talim would have done. Oh, <laughs> I will do it. Hard stands up and slams the bar. I will do it for him. It's a weird way to remember the guy, but I, I'm with heart. The slam just like jars Gray away. She's just like, Phew. her fur is all poofed up. Yeah, basically, you're smuggling an individual named Baldrick. Now, don't be saying his name around here. Here and outset, he's uh, kind of a known terrorist of the area. He leads to the oh. Tyrant's Guild. But we're all fans of him. He keeps the Tyrant's Guild in check. But uh, that's your What's job. Apparently, he's trying to get back into the city, and he's waiting for you all. Pony much outside of one of the camps in the solitude. But Wait, uh, what, was, what was that about terrorism? Don't worry about it. Anyway, okay. <laughs> <laughs> basically, you see, he's been having trouble getting back inside the city. The the tyrants going to have upped up security lately. You know, with the you know with the dead official and everything else around, they're looking around for someone. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's, so, so unfortunately. You know, he needs help, help getting in. And the prize for this one's gonna be a 500 gold job. And also, she kind of leans in, we want some of his recipes. Oh, they could be really helpful for the parade, which is not that long away. Oh God, we lost so much time. Oh yeah, yeah I'm, it's I'm okay. so sorry, ma'am. Hollick's been doing a great job around here. He's been brewing up a bunch of potions and things, getting all the stuff you folks been getting together, and he's been out back in the car ready. We never, I would. we never got the blacksmith. It's like a bit. I think it's a bit too late for that. Oh. We'd have to make do with what we got. But looking, but looking at you all, she kind of looks around you all. I hope you know how to sell. Well, Talim knew how to sell. Oh, I'm Beatles crying. <laughs> it's like a hideous stitch crying. We can do it for him. Head. We can do it in his in his honor. We can do it for him. Okay. <laughs> Again, we would like to apologize for the week we went missing. Uh, some something is going on down there, and we thought we were only down there for a few hours at most. Longest hours of her life. And it's like she she looks around. She sees that Vina's just taking care of tables and stuff, and you guys are the only ones in here. It's like, so what exactly happened down there? You don't want to know. 
Okay, she, so first. She, <laughs> as you start as you start explaining, um you hear something outside. <laughs> you hear a lot of commotion outside. Just a lot of, lot of footsteps. Just a metric. <laughs> yeah, there's a ton of pitter patters. <laughs> just a bunch of. All you're hearing is like little foots just going <laughs> the entire time. And you see, if you look out the window, a ton of kobolds coming in. <laughs> Gray's ears just perk up, and she's like, "What the fuck?" And she turns around. We had and you see, right now. and you see, Dude. over twenty kobolds are on their way to the establishment. <laughs> <laughs> Beetle's eyes bug. He's like, "Oh no." <laughs> You see Thelma kind of look over there and just sigh. You <laughs> look over the Vita going, we got to rush, Vina. <laughs> and, you, and you see the, the little mouse waitress go, oh, oh, and she starts freaking out a little bit and getting oh, super nervous. And um, she immediately like kind of like rushes to like a position, basically to get ready to serve them all. And as the She's doors- She's prepping herself. <laughs> as the doors open, <laughs> you see, a swarm <laughs> basically <laughs> coming in. I can't believe you brought my backup characters. I can't believe you brought my, all my backup characters in case Beetle dies. You brought my entire horde of them. Is this how you get rid of them? What are you planning to do with my backup? Goosh. <laughs> and you see, and you see one kobold who's kind of like in a. Uh, it has pink scales holding a really, really big book, probably to keep track of all the damn kobolds. And uh, she looks, she looks at, uh, she, look, she looks like, okay, everyone, everyone needs to get to a table. I don't need anyone messing around, all right? We're here to eat, dine, and be respectful, all right? Come on, girls, coming up, let's go. Mama ain't taking no shit from anybody right now. She looks over to you. Is that my little boy? Is that my little boy you ever called his mother for no reason at all? And you see that the... I am feeling very seen right now. You see this call come straight up to you, Beetle. Go, why haven't you contacted me in any no, way, shape, or form? Only, it's only been a week. It's only been a week, Mama. My it's accent's been, been changing ever since I got cursed by that accursed witch because of you. <laughs> <laughs> Say again, my Australian mother. What did you just say? Oh, my you. She has the shifting yeah. accent curse. <laughs> we were we were in a hole for a week, Mom. We were doing work. Oh, but here, and Beta will take out the. Oh God, did we get 135 gold? 33, I think. 133. Beetle takes all of that out that they just got and puts it in his mother's hands. Mother's hands. <laughs> she she takes all that money going, well, you know, well, you know, uh, Doodlebug's been doing a lot of good work, too. I mean, you could have been making more money than Doodlebug over here, but then Willie Gig, even though how shy she is, she's been doing, you know, making 200 gold a month. And this is all you got to show for it? You know, Mama's mortgage needs more moolah, sweetheart. No, I know, I know. Gold. I brought you like 300 gold this but yeah, Hart sorry. starts counting on his hands like, wait, how much 200 gold a month? Oh, I'm <laughs> so rude. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, Gray, Hart, uh, 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 Noah, uh, 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 Vita, uh, this is my mom, Auntie Dancy, and my sister's Scaraboo Firefly, Send to Pup Ladybuglet, Crickety Wriggler, that's Flea Footy. Back there, that's Grub Grin. That's Moth Dusty. Pill Buglet is over there. Rochi is still outside. She's trying to get through the door right there. That's her. Your skirt is cut! That's June Gub. That's Butterflies. That's Doodlebug. That's Snorin the Kobold. She really likes board games. And uh, that's Pitter Patter. That's Snail Shell. That's Whirly Gig. Turpity. That's Salty Grub. That's Kabug. And that's Minerva. <laughs> Oh, and that's Pupa right there. Sorry, Pupa, I didn't see you. And Beetle waves down at this egg 
with a hat on it and two kobold legs smashed through the bottom of the egg. So it's just it's just an egg with little eye holes carved out of it and a little hat on the top of the egg and little feet sticking out. The egg looks at you all evilly. <laughs> She's going to be a lawyer. <laughs> oh, I can see it. It's got the, got the look in her eyes. Yeah, these are my sisters. Hello, ma'am. Your son is a very, very honorable and noble individual. He's a goddamn good shot. He knows how to stitch up a wound. He has saved us chest more. Grew three sizes that day. We he he has saved us multiple times. Sorry, I'm Sorry. dragging Sorry. all Sorry. the Sorry. family members. All these you jokes. did yeah. this. You didn't have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Chad can't see it because the camera's still down a little bit. But yeah, if you the, pan up, it looks like um, hell. I'm <laughs> trying. Like yeah, we have thing. we have a camera mod to kind of keep it focused on you guys, but. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to. For some reason, my my thing won't. There it goes. It kind of pans. It's being the weird worst today. fucking thing. But I've it's ever uh, seen. it's uh, it's a lot of family right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a lot of family. <laughs> you know, they're they've uh, basically all of these kobolds. As you've introduced every single one of them, they all kind of come in and go hi 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 hi. You know, they all just kind of introduce themselves when they come through. They're all practically wearing the same thing. Um. I'll try to, as I, for, for, for some reason, I didn't even prep this. I, there's the whole family picture that you have. Yeah. And uh, I need to find where you oh, put it. Can you send it send to me it real to quick? Like the PNG, yeah, I'll put it up it. on let stream. Grab it. But um, basically, a whole family line of kobolds come in. They're like, mick, 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 like every seat and those are and those who can't quite fit into a thing or there's like a spare spare area somewhere they just either sit on the floor or just kind of chill out and they're like meek, 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 you know they're all just trying to get themselves situated and vena is having a panic attack <laughs> oh, <no! laughs> here's the, here's the picture of them all I sent it to your DMs. Thank you. I will try v to. V nice standing in the corner doing the sponge gar pose. Here, this is just for <laughs> yeah. just for stream. This is what it looks like. The entire family. There's the. <laughs> I love them so much. <laughs> so for podcast viewers to describe them, think of uh, kind of like a cyan blue type of uh, cobalt with the cute little rosy cheeks and all wearing like the Madeline or that kind of outfit. Is yeah. that right? Like the little, like the yeah. hat and the little, little petticoat dress and stuff. All have little satchels. There's one holding a little Zoran doll. There's no, another one who's just, who's just the egg. And of course, there's, uh, <laughs> there's Ansi there. I want everyone who is listening to this to note that these look like normal kobolds and nothing like beetle. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Except for the color scheme. Yeah, hey, they got some, some resemblance. Hey. hey. <laughs> but as they're there, uh, she looks at you like, like, well, you're gonna, gonna help feed everybody, huh? Come on, Beetle. Uh, what? How about I, you sisters? We came here to eat. You work here, right? What? No, we are also patrons. Uh, yeah. Thelma looks at you all going, you work here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'll get into the kitchen. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, no. Start cooking no, up some grub. No. Vito will send your orders. Okay. Greatest slumps off of her seat. She's just like, okay. <laughs> I'll compensate you as you guys leave to the kitchen. <laughs> but not overtime. <laughs> Good as you luck, guys. Vito. Now feel free to move your tokens in. And uh, and they all kind of walk in. It's uh, obviously it's had its uses and stuff, but uh, you watch and you you get a kind of a bit of a flashback that Talim used to use these knives to help no! you out that one time in the tavern. <laughs> Talim worked at this stove, really helped you out there. Talim made this type of dish before last time. Talim interrogated a guard in that corner. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Beetle, do you want me to move you or? Oh, sorry. I heard Beetle. You're gonna take the orders, and I didn't follow. Let me no, no. I said Vina. My bad. Oh, 
Oh, I misheard. Yeah, you can definitely help if you want, but of course, none of you guys are in here. Um, no, no, I'm in here. <laughs> you see, we're not going to do a whole tavern thing again. <laughs> we're doing oh a tavern thing again. I like, thought that was where you were going, and I was like, I hate you so much for this. <laughs> Don't worry. We're not going to do a whole tavern round again, but... Um, hey, so one, yes. one quick thing. Am I still yes. wounded? No, you're completely healed up. Nice. So, yeah, Thank you. Because when you full rest and stuff and everything, someone beetle more likely first aid on you through the night, so you're good to go. Um, Drunken beetle, patching him up. So as you guys are working here, I am going to ask you guys to do several crafting checks, though. Oh yeah, do it. Making Lock. foods and stuff. Love that. Uh, Love that. Vina will will come through and go. Uh, beetle, what's what's uh? So we have all the kobolds named. <laughs> <laughs> all the kobolds named. What is Moth Dusty's favorite dish? Uh, chicken nuggets. No fries. Only chicken Heart. nuggets. Hard. Yeah. Vina comes in going, uh, uh, one, one case of nugs, please. Whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> <laughs> Look, looks, looks down at Beetle. Uh, Heart puts on an apron and, and looks down at Beetle and goes, you'll have to guide me, but I can do the cooking. I know what she means. Okay, so she wants chicken, but specifically coated in bread and and, and fried in oil, cooked in oil. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Heart don't starts think, to assemble things. Don't think about getting creative. Don't think about it. Like, it's more delicious when, you know, the chicken has spices and stuff, right? But uh -huh, she's uh -huh. adverse to flavor. I hate her. I don't. I love her. She's my sister. It's she more of has, a texture thing. Yeah, she's got a bad opinion on her nugs. But anyway, so those are nugs. You're going to want those. No spice. Don't think about getting creative. Don't think about making it delicious. Just make it generic. And that's what she likes. Also, okay, okay, okay. no sides. No sides. No sides. No sides, no like, sides at all. He looks back like confused. You can see this even though the, the, his hair, even though his hair covers his eyes. Children it, are very see. picky over you, the weirdest things. Just go with it. Oh, that's oh, the worst okay. part. She's a grown ass woman now. It's bullshit. Oh, okay. So oh, okay. with all that, okay. uh, heart roll me a crafting check. Uh, can I roll lore cooking instead? You sure can. Nice. I have a plus one on all of my uh, on my crafting checks for cooking since I am built for this shit. Uh, you are the oven. Yes, uh, that's <laughs> a four on the die. I will spend my hero point to reroll that uh, since this is Hart's second greatest oh! thing that he can do. That's a net 20, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So Hart not only creates chicken nuggets, he creates the chicken nugget. Like he makes it so mundane in that <laughs> when when he first makes it, he makes like, oh, chopped pieces of chicken. And Beetle points out like, dude, that's whole pieces of chicken. It's going to be worse. <laughs> So he, he, you know, he shops them into more or less chicken mash and breads them and fries them. And they're like the perfect nug. Huh. The, the holy perfect, nug. Most basic. Yeah, it's, an ex it's exactly a McDonald's chicken nugget when he holds up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, he just pulls them out with his hands because he has fire resistance. <laughs> Hart's cooking tools are his hands, but he cleans them very often. I just got handed a McFlurry. Let's go. Oh, no, this is a blizzard. Let's go. Oh, let's, let's go. go. Uh, off. Heck yeah. I got Beetle a blizzard. Holds out a, a bowl underneath Hart's head so we can just dump all the greasy chicken nuggets in there. Yeah, uh, he, the nuggets are heart shaped. Oh, oh she's going to lose her mind. You're going to hear it. Right. It's going to be supersonic. And he starts Heck yeah, I don't out. speak. I don't speak mech, but... It, T tell her that I, that it's all good. <laughs> okay. uh, you see, Vina uh, will come in. I would like Gray. Bruh. <laughs> like she she points. You see, Vina points Gray like, like please give please give him the dogs as, as a thing, and she'll look to you, Beetle, going like, do you know? Uh, <laughs> she looks down and let's see which one I want to pick. Uh, <laughs> do you know who's a uh, uh, Farfleet's uh, favorite food is? And as for that, Gray. Go find Moth Dusty. Ooh. Oh my! Oh no! Okay. Yeah, Beetle starts. It feels like. Are you sure you don't want to? Okay, here you go, Gray. And he passes the bowl off to Gray. 
Beetle, what, what, what does she smell like? What does she, what? What does she smell like? I don't remember what my sister smells like. What's you, wrong you, with you? I need to know. I, okay. that's, that's, that's disgusting. You think I, ew. Oh, Beetle, what does she work with? Uh, 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 nothing really. She doesn't, she doesn't have a job. She's like the only <laughs> one that doesn't have a job because she's super spacey and never stops daydreaming. Okay. okay, great. I have to go sniff out despondency. Cool. <laughs> yeah, just look for lack of motivation, productivity, and total despondency. <laughs> <laughs> Seek the smell of disappointment. Gray is going to use every fiber in her body to try and figure out which one of these kobolds is mood dusty. <laughs> Smell out. Smell out for lack of a job. <laughs> Looks for the most unemployed looking kobold. <laughs> what was the fucking rule for this? There's gonna be people Talim. called out and really mad right now. <laughs> you, got, you got Channel Talim and find right. the poorest kobold. <laughs> As, a, as behind the scenes game master thing, just to point out before we roll, I put Talim's token in and hit him to see if I can get vision on the scene a little bit better because when you guys go in, it cuts off the yeah. vision. So I'm Thank literally you. using the ghost of the ghost of Talim to try to get vision <laughs> from the chat, but it didn't work, so he's actually dead. Anyway, so so um, so wherever you come up, I would like you to roll me a perception check as you come here. All the kobolds, expectedly, like in the restaurant, all look to you. They all thinking turn. you have their food. I'm re-rolling that. I'm re-rolling that. I'm re-rolling that. That is a two for a total of 11. I'm re-rolling that using hero point. Mine. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh, my God. That's a 15. <laughs> I'm just thinking of, have you seen that picture of all the girls at the party with their red cups and they're turned towards the cameraman making like a face? Mm -hmm. And they're all staring at the person taking the picture, like, what the fuck, who invited you? Like, that's what I'm picturing when all the kobolds twist around in their chairs. Yeah, and but like... they're all waiting for their food. They're like, you, do you have it? Yeah. Order for Moon Dusty. She just um, when, just says it. When I used to work at a restaurant, I would notice that sometimes that people look up, see their food. I would intentionally walk up to people and then, like, <gasps> beeline it around to the actual table. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. What the hell? It Born brought me evil. It brought me infinite joy. That's so fucked up. Uh, but with your roll of a order for uh, moon roll dusty. of fifteen, <laughs> roll of fifteen, you uh, you don't quite a hundred percent pinpoint it, but you feel like the top right somewhere, pretty much closer to the fireplace is where they would be. Great. Just so like, me, 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 me. Order for Moon me, Dusty. Me, Order for Moon Dusty. Me, 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 me Hello. Me. One voice is a hand of the crowd. Me, and you see that Moon Dusty is uh, the one right by the <laughs> fireplace on the top here. Right. pinging it for you. Gray will uh, reach over and she's like, oh, sorry for the wait. Here's your, your nugs. <laughs> <laughs> and just starts eating oh. it just, just she's viciously. Kind of like, she, she kind of like leans back and she's just like oh <laughs> this is when this is the point where the rock moons this is the point when uh when heart and gray realizes that Oh, right, Beetle isn't like other kobolds. He like <laughs> somewhat behaves himself, does weird things, yes, but he's not like a screaming little dragon lizard creature that, you know, eats things and stabs people with spears and, you know, kidnaps people and puts out traps. He's just a little guy. Great, that really, she just, she starts like just going back. She's like, I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna yeah. go. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Uh, Gray, meanwhile... stop right there. Whoa. Uh, Let me go back. You stay right there. I'll move you here. I'm going to freeze okay. you there. We're now going to change the scene back to Beetle and Heart. Uh, what you guys doing in there in the kitchen? You have yeah, one so order. Beetle has relayed to Heart. Uh, she needs Alfredo with a lot of cheese. Like to the point where you don't even know if it's Alfredo or like the mac and cheese. You know, mac and cheese where it's just the noodles in cheese. It's like that, but Alfredo. So not actually mac and cheese. And you're gonna want to take a fish. It doesn't matter what kind of fish it is. I mean, if you got a high quality fish, you'll like that the most. But I don't know if Elba and Delba will appreciate us putting like a really expensive fish in this. In what this about cheesy... Chet? 
like there's a lot of fish in this fishery, so I, I'll 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 just take one. Close your eyes and uh, f feel around until you touch a fish. Put that one in it. She wants some fish. She wants the Alfredo, and she wants lots of cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you just get me the things and I'll start working on it. And then uh, I will make a funny pasta. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I will have to sadly enter the plus one on my own. Uh, there we go, baby. It's a 14 for a total of 23. Heart is uh, like very really nice. good at cooking. Uh, this smells really good. Thanks. Like uh, I, I baked it, uh, and he pulls it out from the oven. Ugh. Like I rarely get to use an oven, if anything. So this is pretty great. And Firefly probably wouldn't there. notice if I just took a little bite. Firefly probably wouldn't notice. It, uh, chef's got a taste what they're eating. Chef's and he, got it, a taste. And he, and he puts a little bit on a plate for Beetle. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so as you guys do that, would you two like to deliver it? <gasps> deliver it, Beetle. Come on, come on. Ah. Oh, both of you. Both of you got to come out. Wow. Okay. Both of you? Oh, yeah, okay. Come out. Got a big old plate. Okay, okay. okay. B big old tray. Big old tray. Yeah. I, I, hi I hide the part that Beetle got with the, <laughs> the, the, the ladle that you scoop it out with. <laughs> Uh, Beetle will find Firefly. As you're um, as you're coming through, you hear a knock for all of you right oh. by the door. Go on, just a coom, coom, coom. And we'll find out. Uh, and as you guys look through the window, Beetle, you notice a man in armor along with a orc uh, behind the door. Oh, no. Just kind of knocking. And the man in armor is just coom, coom, coom. Oh, no. And we'll find out who that is after a break. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. And we're back. Welcome back, everyone. And I Hello. can't believe you said the things that you did. I, I did know, right? to your face. Are you Damn. offended? Damn. To my face. To my face. You know, if oh, I had wow. any sense of pride, any sense of ego, it would be bruised. It would be wounded. Far out, man. Far out. <laughs> so, um... And so where we last left off, Beetle's family has arrived and they're doing their very mm -hmm. best to serve them food and stuff. And as they're coming out with a hot plate full of food, uh, mm -hmm. trying to get everybody's or specific orders done. And you see that antsy, it's just like, come on, Beetle, we got to get them fed. Let's go, sweetheart. <laughs> you know, just constantly on your ass about it. Um, you hear a rap, a tap tap upon this tavern's door. And you hear from the other side going, Hello, anybody? Is this place open for business? You look and you see the person uh, look through the window over to the right. And uh, you see that this person look in going, You look very much open for business. Hello, Kunk. And he's staring right at all of you as he's knocking on the door. Gray looks over his shoulder. It's like, do I let do I let him in? Do, hello. <laughs> She's like, now you might as well. I might be a paying customer. Come on. Yep. All right. Gray, I'll go and open the door. We are we are very full at the moment, but we can find you a seat by the bar. Yeah. Oh, hi. It's like, oh, I might not be here to dine and dash. I'm here to investigate. And you see he'll flash a badge that's on his suit. Mm -hmm. He's like, do you know what this is? Society? Shiny. A pin. Can I, can I roll a society check? You sure can. Anybody who wants to can roll me a society check. Okay. We're going to jail. We're going to jail. I got an eight. Rolls for society. Oh my god. <laughs> I sure did roll a five. A total I rolled of five. A 15! Total of 15, sorry. So. <laughs> oh god, it's the health inspector, Jet says. <laughs> <laughs> it's worse than that. So. 
so the only one who's kind of got high enough to understand who this person may be is Beetle. Uh, probably because you've ran into this person before. Not okay. this particular person or the type of individuals they are. Uh, I tried to ask Thurston exactly how this has sounded, but he didn't get back to me. Uh, but for those of you who know anything about the Tyrant's Guild and the various uh, pretty much hierarchies and positions there is, um, I'm going to call it, say these are called Aegises for this one. Uh, A G I X E S. I have to. I have, to, I, have to, I have to check back with Thurston exactly how it's said. Mm. But, um, so don't take me as gospel. They're basic. think of these as people who like to investigate things, Beetle. Like to keep an eye out for stuff for the tyrant skilled. Maybe someone who likes to investigate things. They're and tyrant skilled detectives. Exactly. <laughs> One comes in going like, tyrant skilled authority. Please make way. And he'll shrewdly shove by you, Graham, and oh, head oh. and head in. And you'll see someone behind him. And you see it is an orc. An orc carrying a bundle of sticks behind her. And uh, also, this art was done by Salty, in which Salty did an amazing job. Just for context, uh, Salty will give me these amazing pieces of art and go, I made you some NPC characters. I have no idea what their name, no anything. And I go, I got an idea for that. And I will do things <laughs> to, to the players this may. Uh, but Salty did wonderful Thanks. stuff on this. In which, hey, uh, Salty. Event, in which eventually you'll, you'll get these handout cards and tokens on our Patreon at Narrative Declaration. You know, patreon.com forward slash Narrative Declaration. And um, he says, Orc will look around. She seems just not happy to be here. But you see he has a bundle of sticks uh, behind her. She has a flat cap on, a very disgruntled looking orc, but definitely built up like, you know, she can lift weights. But uh, but she's holding a, a wooden staff with her, just kind of using it as a walking stick, not like she really needs it. And she's looking around everything like, eh. you know, that's all she does is kind of grunts. And uh, you see, he'll look around and see, like, and look down to you, uh, Beetle, and go like, "Are you the proprietor of this establishment?" Oh, and I am Chartier, Chartier, the act, the Aegis. So, if you could point me, if you are not the manager, I wish to speak to the manager of this establishment. Did you say your your name was Char Chartier, not Karen? <laughs> it's right over like, there, sir. Who would have Be such a point. repulsive name? And, and, he, and as you point over to, uh, he's like, not nah, serious if you name Karen and you're cool. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry, Karen. I'm sorry, Karen. Yeah, it's sorry. a joke. It's a joke. It's a bit. You understand. You know, I'm sorry it brings you pain. Your name didn't deserve it. Anyway, she looks so, uh, he looks over uh, to Mama Thelma and she kind of crosses her arms, going like, yeah, what does Tyrant's Guild want? Yeah, you see, we got a full house. We're too busy for your shit. And he's like, oh, well, I think I just need to look around, if you don't mind. I'm looking for some particular individuals maybe covered in dust and blood of my fellow compatriots. Did any of you bathe? Well, of course. Oh, my God. Could you imagine going to bed covered in dust and shit? Like yeah, they probably that's cleaned a, up before going to sleep. They absolutely had to have. Yeah. yeah. Like, Grey complains pretty frequently about how she doesn't like being dirty. He'll he'll look around. He'll see he'll see a bunch of like uh, young kobolds and stuff. Okay. Oh, is this a family gathering? Uh, unplanned. Smiles. I say, oh, but yeah, yes. it's. It's always so good to stay connected with family, isn't it? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, we were just actually, I'm gonna get that lick on heart. You wanna pass me the linguini? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sir, could you, could you just move to the side a little bit? I'm just gonna take that, thank you. Uh, oh, he, lo oh. he stands firmly and does not move. And he goes, um, oh, well, I mean, don't let me impede your impede your celebrations. In fact, allow me to distribute a gift. Huh? I and thought he looks you were so, here to investigate. 
I am, but I definitely don't want to come in here and be the bad guy, you know? Everyone's always scared of the tyrant skill, but we do so much for the people here. We try our very best to instill law in order. And he'll look to his uh, companion, the, uh, the orc miss, and he'll go, uh, do you have any of those, uh, you know, those little fire sticks? Don't worry, they're perfectly safe. They're like little, little things that children like to play. They're like little harmless fireworks, a simple enchantment. Oh, uh, sparklers! Like, yes, that's a branded name. Now we're now demonetized. Thank you. <laughs> he will look to the her and go. The Guild is not sponsored. You know, not in you. this world. <laughs> <laughs> it's not all sponsored today. Uh, could you, do you mind um, uh, passing those out, please? And the orc will go, hmm. And she'll take out one of the sticks from her bag and she'll kind of do a, like, a little flick with it. And it turns into like a very kind of glowy, uh, just like stick. Like a little twig just has like a very pretty thing and it makes a trail and everything. And and, and it seems completely harmless. It's not burning in the, in the rugs below her or messing up the wood. And it's just it's just a pretty little thing. And she goes like, if you please, and you go, mm. and she'll just kind of like forcefully shove herself past you guys. Um, Beetle looks disappointed when she passes because he didn't get one. <laughs> Do you want to ask part of the for family, one? He's family, but he doesn't get one. You want to yeah, ask like for one? He puts up a hand expectantly for one when she goes she'll, by. He's like, she'll smiling. roll her eyes and hand you one, and yes! take out another one, and flick it up. She has a whole backpack of these. It starts handing them out. And she goes like, <laughs> and Ants to a guy, yeah, whatever. And she passes to one of the young ones. She puts it. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, gives it to the mom. Mom's like, okay. It's yeah, whatever. <laughs> to be entertained. It's like the at yeah. iPad handoff at this point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Beatles siblings are iPad kids. <laughs> and you see, she'll start Fortnite. passing around to all of them. And she'll, she'll begin working on that. Just saying all of them seem overjoyed to have one of these sticks here. And and as she's doing that, uh, he'll step off to the side and like, please don't let me um, stop your work. Let me just take a look around, if you don't mind, and ask a couple questions here and there. Oh yeah, of course, thank you. And we you know, will finally get past this asshole to pick up the linguini. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, pick up the linguini. Beetle. beetle, no, 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 no. Be beetle, 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 huh? Beetle. Uh, heart holes, you know. It once again, he holds the form that is straight out of the oven. Yeah. Oh, all right. Ah. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. You come. You go with me, and we'll be careful around uh, a sticks woman. Thank you, stick lady. Thank you. Uh, we have orders to fill. If there's anything you need, just I don't know. Shout. Oh, have you? I'm done talking to. Talking to certain folks, I'll probably drive some of you. I thank you for your cooperation. Yep. <laughs> As you guys, yep. Robert, so you see he'll be talking to Thelma, who seems very just one word answer going, nope, 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 <laughs> nope. You know, just talking <laughs> back and forth. The kobold turns slowly in her seat and is just staring directly at the side of his fucking head. <laughs> holding the <laughs> stick in a foot like the toes are curled around the stick holding it like fingers just staring with the sparkler going off <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh Beetle will find Firefly and deliver her her fish cheese linguini where's Firefly? Uh, Firefly is quite obviously uh, right here Obviously. <laughs> yeah, you find Firefly easy because you know all of your sisters. Yeah. And, and deliver the food. And after which you see um, Chartier will, will step back from uh, Thelma and begin walking to you guys. Now, away from her. <laughs> and go like, oh, while you're here and finish with your delivery, I have a couple questions. Yeah. Well, I, as you know, as you may notice, uh, there's been a murder of a high official recently going around, and we've heard reports of someone slaughtering a bunch of Tyrant's Guild members around here in the Ponds Palaster. Normally, crime is a commonality here in the. He looks around the tavern, more dreadful parts of our beautiful city, but I just have a couple questions if you can answer them for me. 
Oh, shit. Is it really murder if they asked for it? Darn! <laughs> Beetle so just, like, cranks his head to stare directly up at Hart. His jaw is slack. He can't believe what I just said. <laughs> You know how, like, certain people are like that? I'm not saying that I did anything, but you know. He will, uh... He'll, he'll look at you and you see his, his helmet and, like, this, like, big, like, plated scale coif kind of jingle as he kind of tilts his head over to the side. And he kind of, like, kind of, like, twitches a finger here and there in one of his gauntlet hands. He'll be like, Oh, yes, of course. We wouldn't want any incidents. Um... So, guys, I have a couple of questions. Uh, where yeah. were you uh, on the last couple days? With oh, my friends. Well, yeah, we're Delvers, actually. Yeah. Oh, Delvers, are you? Yeah. Interesting. Side, side business. Reason, yeah. actually. Yeah, we oh, just got wonderful. into it. Yeah. Oh, excuse, new excuse Delvers? us. We, we, um, we lost one of our actually the founder of the fact that we were going into delving actually yeah. lo was lost recently heart actually starts to tear up excuse me but um oh he, um, he he was recently lost and uh yeah, yeah. yeah. oh that's quite a that. shame he, he kind of in a flourish whoosh, there's a handkerchief that comes out of his wrist and he and he hands it to you if you take it. But yeah, so we, uh, we've been just exploring down in, you know, in the hole. Oh, good. Um, so a hole, you say? <laughs> he, and he's yeah, scribbling see, stuff on a notepad. Yeah, the well, hole. Like the, yeah. the, the sinkhole. Like the hole. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. uh, delving. Mm -hmm. Delving typically goes delving, downward. Delving. Oh, where were you delving? In the hole. Uh, in the hole. <laughs> Oh, in the hall, yes. All right, then. Um, what, uh, your companion that you unfortunately lost, what did he yeah. look like? Talim. Talim looked like Talim. Talim's his name, right? And he writes that yeah. down. And, uh... Long well, since dead now. Yes. That's his shield up there on the wall, and Beetle points. Oh, his shield. And he looks yeah. over, and he goes... <laughs> Oh, and he, and he notes that down too. <laughs> and he goes, yeah. Hart, what says did you say? Quan Shi, Hart says a little Quan Shear prayer, and he looks over at uh, at the shield. So, oh, yeah, Quan Shear. Oh, our... my brother's from there. <laughs> he writes that down. <laughs> <laughs> my head is in my fucking hand. <laughs> <laughs> He will, uh, as he's noting things down, he's like, and what did you say your friend looked like? like well, that was, his, that was his shield. He looked like sleep. Yo, uh, yo, uh, Holix Alchemy? He was an alchemist to leave. He, he was really good buddies with Holix. So that's the part of the sinkhole that, that we oh. like to go to down near yeah. near. You're Holix. saying oh, he's shop. friends with a wanted criminal? Wait, Holix a wanted criminal? Oh, interesting. He kind of like writes that down. I'm dying. Affiliated. I'm dying. He's like, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You, wait, wait, wait. you know is like, where is a highly prized individual is? What? No, we haven't. Hold on. Hold on. Go right back. Did you say Holic is wanted? Is Holic suspected of murder? Yes, he has a bounty of a thousand gold on him for countless Did murders and experiments on people, mostly of the tyrant skilled kind, but definitely oh. a highly prized thing on all lists. You, tell me more. I'm putting my head in the oven. I'm putting my head in the oven. This is the first I am hearing anything. Oh my God. I didn't think that Holly could do it. I didn't think he had it in him. He's built like a twig. He's a little twig guy. Yeah. He doesn't even have a nose. He's noting down your reactions to it. And all of you see Holic outside this window working on the cart <laughs> to your left, by the oh, way. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! I will, I will say this, though. That puts a lot more respect on Holic. 
because he can are... hold his own, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> as you go on in, it's like, and uh, you start to see him starting to look over to the right, and he starts invest looking around the tavern a little bit, and he's like, interesting. And he's like, he looks yeah. around, and, he's, and he takes a kind of ninety degree turn to the right, looking wait, around. Wait, 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 wait. He looks wait. to you. Wait, wait. So is Holic suspected of having some connection with the with the the murders that happened? Oh, no, official? you just gave me a lead on a case that we've been trying to solve for years. Oh, Knowing yeah, that he he's still he's operating in this <gasps> area has been great news to us. Yeah, he's he's still in the hole. I had no idea that Hulk's he still had in the done hole? any of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the sinkhole. You know, Holic's okay. shop? He's got a shop down there. Oh, yeah, he does. He does. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. He writes that down. <laughs> yeah, we ran into him during like one of our first excursions. So and he, he's still Roll down there last for I me. checked. Roll what? deception for me. Oh yeah, of course. I'm gonna fucking puke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is a total of 25. I'm gonna bring this artwork in. Feel free to turn it off in your end. I'm doing it just bring it back up for chat so they yeah, know who they're talking Heck to. Yeah. Heck yeah. There we go. Yeah, with your roll of a 25, I'm going to have to do a little. Yeah, sure. Okay. Here's a interesting. Mm. Right. Yeah, you know what? I can draw you uh, here, Hart. Would you continue fulfilling orders? Uh, I will draw oh, you actually please. a little I have. map. So many more questions. I'm sure the patrons could wait. You know, we wouldn't want oh. them to be in danger of such a dangerous criminal, especially if they're nearby. Oh, no, he's no. in the hole. Like, that's the last place we saw him. I can draw you a map uh, of how to get to the, the shop that he set up there because he yeah. was set up there. Like, it looked like he was living out of it. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. I need to pass. Is he, and he does not move. And he, and he looks at you and says, like, Please, I have more questions. We're gonna switch to Gray. Just a great Gray. You've been just in the kitchen. I'm assuming cooking up stuff. I assume you got some orders here and there, and you've been mm -hmm. dutifully making stuff. Uh, what would you yes. like to do? Uh, is there? A, mm, yeah, Gray's gonna like kind of poke her head out uh, for a sec and just be like, "Do we have any orders? Like, what's going on?" Oh. <laughs> and she sees them having the conversation in the distance, and she just kind of listens for a moment. You were very far away in a very commotion-driven, yeah. like, very co commotion. -driven. These other Cobalt sisters are not shutting the hell up. You hear so, me? <laughs> so for you to hear from there, you're going to have to practically give me a really high roll to differentiate it. But you, you are a null. And I, I will give you, I will give you that chance. And that's the only reason I'm giving ears. it to you. Uh, would I have to roll make perception a, for that? Perception. It's going to be, need to be a high DC. You're going to have to be. Oh, please, please. That is a total of 28. That is a 19 for total 28. And you got it. All right, let's go. For the 19 on the right. die. And for 28 and everything else, you hear from the, from the wave of, make me, make me, make me, make me, oh my God. You know, just all that stuff. <laughs> You, you kind of hear, you understand? Did what? <laughs> yeah, you hear that piercing through, hearing Beetle do that. You learn that Holic is a very much highly desired and wanted criminal, like with a bunch of money on his head for egregious crimes and all this other stuff. And um, and you see that he's turning over to you and preventing Hart just with a polite hand, saying, "Hold up, I have more questions." And uh, and that's where we kind of switch back to you. You're hearing, you've, you've heard, practically heard everything that was going on. She'll, uh, she'll yell over the crowd, just like, hey, I need hands over here. I have orders. Try and, like, get one of them over here. You see that um, the Chartier will look back and go like, I see that I'm holding you too much. I can ask you questions while you cook. Let's go. Oh, motherfucker! <laughs> and he will get out of your way and begin to go down. It's like, oh, and is this one of your companions? He looks to you, Hart. Hmm? Great. Yeah, she's, uh... Gray? She's, okay. 
Yes. This is Gray. Uh, Hello. Hello there. It's so lovely to meet you. I am Chartier, an Aegis, an Aegis of the Tyrant's Guild. I Hello, would, uh, Shardy. How would I? <laughs> he kind of, you see his hand, just kind of Arthur meme grip, just creeping like a leather, just kind of <laughs> squeeze in. And he's like, it's just very nice to meet you. <laughs> I nice have several questions. <laughs> really? What uh, What can I help you with? So we, we've got orders. We're a little busy over here, Ben. You see, he'll shut the door going, just to make it a little bit quieter. And you see, he'll tap the lock. And uh, and as he's walking walking over past you, he will go, it's like, oh, and um, it's like, I, was her I heard your name was Gray, correct? And he goes over to the other door and he tap, tap right onto it as well and looks to all of you and um and he will go is Bilo sweating even though he doesn't have any sweat pores <laughs> <laughs> his eyes are leaking little beads of eye goo are like forming and running down his eyes he's sweating through his eyes he's panting a little bit he will um he will to you gray and go like so I heard that uh, you all are Delvers. You're a Delver, correct? Mm, yes, recent uh, excursion. And uh, where were you delving recently? In the hole. Are you registered with the Delvers Guild? Sweats? Um! <laughs> uh, not quite yet. As I said, this was recent and we were given oh. a job. Oh, not yet. And he, he writes down. It was more like feeling no, it out. I'm very new to this group. Yeah, we're talking with Baron. We've got a contact, so we're we're legitimate. Baron. We're we're looking. We're hoping to get it done. Yeah. Yeah. Tell, yeah. Tell, yeah. Uh, our tell me legal, all about Baron. Our oh, legal well, sort of, you know. Yeah, he's got a dog dying. nugget. Uh, we met him one day on the street, and we just started small talking. See, I uh, I actually uh, Beetle touches his fingers together. I I read a lot of uh, crime novels because my my family we help uh, or run a library essentially, and I I read a lot of crime novels. So I'm I'm something of a, a closet investigator, and I think investigators are really neat. So I try and stack up conversations and and remember. Little, little bits and pieces about people that we meet. So it just, yeah, yeah, I'm a bit of a chatterbox. And, you know, we got to talk. Beetle. He's got a cute dog. Sir, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Sharty something. Uh, what do you need from us? Oh, I'm like, just hoping you can just answer the questions I have. He's investigating. It's, yes, I'm. Yes, and, I uh, can see that. Well, like, you see, the Tyrants were very interested. Uh, there were several deaths recently in the Pond's Palasta, and I'm just following up a couple leads that I have. So. That's so sad, and the heart starts working. <laughs> Apparently, Hollick could have something to do with it. Or, well, he did something else. Get this, Hollick is actually responsible for a shit ton of murder. Oh, huh. I couldn't right. believe it. Way more respect to him. <laughs> What? Beetle doesn't say that. There are lots of people <laughs> in the plaster. Lots of bad people. I was just so shocked because he was so nice when we met him. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, he's in the nice hole? Still. Yeah, when we went down into the hole. Well, yeah, the hole. Thank you for all of this information. He will kind of close his notepad a little bit and he'll put it inside of his little pouch and uh, he will go, your descriptions definitely fit one of our agents, uh, our, our, agent, our agent's report. And um, now knowing that what the holic is even involved with all of you makes this mm. case a lot more interesting. Now, I'll have to ask you all to come with me over to, over to the bishop's plaster and um, for a lot nah. more questioning. No. Well, you see... I'm, I'm working. Oh, that's fine if you're working, but if you do not come yeah. with me, my associate will explode every single child inside of this building. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> not only are those fire sticks as an excellent toy for children, but they all can make everyone wielding them just go... <gasps> whoa, 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 wait, are... 
are we under arrest? Yes, you are. By the authority of the Tyrant's Guild, you have the right to follow me and obey all of my commands. Any resistance will be met with death and or lashings, depending on your worth to the Tyrant's Guild. Ah! What? Present what your hands, and he takes out iron shackles and such, and saying so. And uh, you will be you are being charged currently with the death of several Tyrant's Guild members. What? And you must come with me. Beetle hasn't killed anyone. He hasn't killed a Tyrant's Guild member. Beetle looks at heart. He just, he's dismayed. His hands are out and fingers are fanned. I have no reason to lie. This is actually true if you look through all the bods. <laughs> the beetle has like, never killed anything. The, the beetle, beetle hasn't killed a, uh, killed a member of the uh, the tyrant's guild or affiliates with them. Oh. I, I like that as defense of the game. If you check the vods, uh, <laughs> <laughs> pushes up glasses. Actually, Beetle's our entire adventures recorded. <laughs> Beetle has never last hit anything in his life. <laughs> <laughs> Beetle has killed oh, multiple shit. people, actually, but not yeah, any of the time. Not killed. Killed. Oh, that's true. He's killed a couple of Crocs. <laughs> So Remember he will... what I said behind the scenes, and I was like, "Man, I sure am glad we're doing this." He who after this last stressful session <laughs> we had, <laughs> man, <laughs> that's right. We went to the PRP screen, and Ben was like, "Oh, this is so nice, an uphearted, upbeat episode to like relieve the tension of the last episode. This is great." <laughs> 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 ah! He will. Uh, he's just dangling the dangling the. Um, the cuffs with them and he's like I'm waiting I don't really like trying to wrestle people down it usually gets right dirty and uh, you know with all the bodies inside they clean them up after their innards wait, go wait, everywhere wait, wait, wait. it's, it's absolute trouble could, for some of the you, guilds could we go out could you uh could 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 you arrest us out where my family can't see me being arrested for something I didn't even do they can't see you now. What? You're literally in the kitchen. They can't see you. No, but yeah, you're but... gonna put the things on my hands and then I gotta walk out. I'll take out. you out the back. How's that sound? We have oh, a back? We have a back? Uh, no. <laughs> I, I, would, I, would, I would very much enjoy to see that Beatles family, who has done nothing, uh, goes safe from this. Please? Oh, absolutely. They'll just have a harmless toy after we're gone and bring you to justice. Could you collect them again, please? Absolutely. My associate will collect the sticks and they'll, she will be returning with me. Yes, and then we can follow along. Yes. Everything. Long after yeah, yeah. we're out of here and you're behind bars and secured. Why are we oh. getting arrested again? Yeah. Apparently we fit the descriptions of people connected to the murders? That's Which is weird. bizarre because I don't even look like any other kobold in this city. Are you sure? Do you remember your encounters going into the ruins? Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this is just penal. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I had the triple check. So, he's like, <sighs> all right, my patience is waning thin. Like, put put these on, put these on, or they all die. I'm under a strict schedule, and especially if Hawks around, I need to go find him. And a lot of you hear uh, doors opening past the door to the north, and you know Hawks set, set up shop here. Can I at least do one thing before all this? <sighs> God, well, what? Well. While Can Hart I... is talking to give Hart more time, Beetle will come yeah. over and put his hands out for the the shackles. I just want to deliver this last meal, okay? Set it to the side. You don't have to worry about it. The establishment will take care of it. No, like, my dude, if there's anything, <laughs> I need to do this. You don't know who owns this establishment. I need to deliver this last meal. Oh, they're just a couple old hags. St like, stares at. Can I roll an intimidation check? Uh, you sure can. Nice. As can you, I, as can you're I doing help so. my beetle groveling and be like, 
please, I, I don't, we don't, I don't want a heart's decision here to affect my family at all. If you could just, yeah, just put those yeah. little clickers he on puts, me. He puts, awesome. he puts oh, the chains I, on you. Yeah. Due to, I rolled a four on the die, but due to, due to Shat's generosity, I can re-roll that. I got an 18. Remember, yes. you had the intimidation thing. You can always target him. And stuff yeah, yeah. Time. Um, yes. Sorry about that. But that that is not enough to intimidate that him. That is not enough. Okay. But he still stares at them and goes like, I need to deliver this. He's like, he just shakes his head no and go, please put, please put the cuffs on before I get even more impatient. I, think I don't really want my family and my mom to be blown up if you wouldn't mind putting the cuffs on please i i heart um heart puts it down hey soren yes can i try to see if this guy is genuine about the exploding of children absolutely roll me perception check nice I rolled a two on the die for a total of 13 in case anyone else wanna do this. He will kill them all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in case anyone else wanna like yeah, oh, everyone else thinks he's gonna kill them all. If you're familiar yeah. with D&D 5e insight checks, perceptions what you do for that for Pathfinder 2. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. you're 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 taking a look and trying to figure it out. So oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't need to roll. trying like, to. No, he'll just. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll, I'll give a roll for a nat 20. <laughs> he will, all right. You got a nat 20? He will kill Jack. them all. <laughs> I knew it. I knew right. it. He is dead serious. He There is no remorse in his eyes. <sighs> He just wished he could I, get everybody else, too. Hmm. All right. All right, everyone, uh, does everyone willingly put the man, put the things on? This is all going to be fine because we'll get there and they'll see that we had nothing to do with any of this. I don't even know what I just wanted to cook, man. And so it's going to be OK. I don't no, think it not. would be this bad if Talim was here. I miss Talim. I, I also yeah. miss Talim. He goes up to you, Gray. Do you do you willingly put the shackles on? She'll get a little snappy and a little growly. He goes, uh uh uh. <laughs> Young it's man, cheek. I am I am far older than you. <laughs> and I've killed older. And he'll go to heart. Oh, I I'm not surprised. And it's like he goes to you, heart heart, do you allow the things to be put on you. What are these gonna do? <laughs> I can break these cuffs. <laughs> I can break these cuffs. <laughs> and uh, uh, do you allow it? Do you resist? He holds out his hand. What are these gonna do? Just a little bit of security for now. And he will, uh, the most of the security is in the other room. And he will, uh, he'll open the back as he kind of tap, tap the door. And you'll see him go, <laughs> And he will uh, lead you all back. And you, see, and you feel a tug. Not even a rope there, but you feel a tug as he kind of brings you all Thanks back Thanks for not here. arresting me in front of my mom! And he will open the doors. And what you see is Holic and Lorne <laughs> having a conversation in the back. I hate and everything! He will look to, to them and then look to <laughs> all of you. <laughs> Lorne will look down, <laughs> look the holic, and holic will just kind of shrug. <laughs> and kind of shrugs like, and, he'll look, and the guy will look to you. I'll shove you up here, Beetle. Then he'll look to all of you going, oh, ho, huh? Yeah, the hole. <laughs> what? And Beetle like leans around. Good one, though. <laughs> like, nice. way more respect to you. Like, I respected you before, but now? Yeah, what the fuck? You never said 
you killed a bunch of people? Well, they deserved it. Yeah! Hart wants to go forward for a high five. Yeah, but you are, you're restricted. You feel like you're kind of yeah. in, in place. You're like something's kind of keeping you restrained. Uh, I'm sorry, no just friends. the mandibles. <laughs> and you can see Lauren will kind of look over and looks at Holic and will go like, <laughs> like, like well, and Holic will go, might as well. And you see, <laughs> and you see that Holic with a quick of a hand, whoosh, will throw a bottle and you see Lauren, like fire a bolt straight at um, Sartiri. Uh, uh, <laughs> I can't even say his name anymore. Angles. <laughs> yeah, it's Sardi. <laughs> you see immediately like a cloud is poof, just pretty much appears in front of you all and all of you feel your man, uh, your your cuffs and everything kind of fall down. And, you oh. see the <coughs> and everything. I would put an effect here, but it broke. <laughs> like, like I was, I had it all ready to and toggle them. Like, oh, that's broken. And uh, <laughs> actually, hold up, no, I can redo it. I'm doing, I'm, I'm redoing it. I'm redoing it. I'm making it happen. I'm Make making it happen. happen. Make I'm making it happen. it happen. It's fancy. It's fancy. It's fancy, everyone. It's fancy for everyone at home. Do like looking at this from like the mind's eye, from that of a. Um, if you are just listening to this, you're not seeing anything right now. This is me stalling. This is me stalling for that. Wow! Well, I can't believe you're doing wee. such a good job at stalling. It's so wow. good looking though, guys. It, it looks so good. Oh, it's so, it's good. so good. I'm gonna make you a green. Would, yeah, it, it's so good, everyone. Like you wouldn't believe it. if you were here right now. Hey, there it is. This All the vibe, fog. Look at it, it go. Yeah. Whoa. I can even make it go really fast. And Thank intense. You so much, for the cool thing. Oh my god! <laughs> Thanks, Whoa. Foundry. So with that, all of That's you, cool. uh, all of you are no longer grabbed, and ah! combat will now start. Oh fuck me! And so what you will you you hear, <laughs> and what you will hear is like, don't let him snap his fingers, <laughs> and and uh, you'll see that Lauren will quickly uh, dash away near the beginning of combat and Holic will just go, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> and, and duck <laughs> under the carriage. And uh, I need everyone to roll uh, initiative once it uh, starts. Give me a second. I should track it's a bit broken. There we go. Go ahead and roll initiative for me, please. Question, Soren. Yes. Due to being this close to this guy, can I roll a Felix? No. Okay, cool. Thank you. I just want to ask. Ba -ba. Oh, I got a okay. one. <laughs> I got a. <laughs> I got a fourteen. It's up to you, Beetle. I got a twenty-seven. I can't, I can't believe. Yeah. I got a one for initiative. Yeah, complications is not an initiative, fellas. Oh, thank God. All right. All right, Beetle got a 27, Hart got a 14, Gray got a 10, and our good old friend got a, let me reveal that, 29. All right, it's his go. No! <laughs> and he looks right to no! you. My <laughs> <laughs> He looks right to you, Hart. And uh, he quickly, with a flash of his sword, shing, takes his sword out for one action and gets a strike on you. Gets a strike on you with the Fauci on here. Shing hits you with a twenty-eight. Yeah. He damages bad. you for thirteen points, and you see that he will try and uh, and back away from mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. You try to back away to here. Nice. Of course, third action, and that's the end of his turn. Beetle. Hmm. Uh, Beetle gets out his gun. Uh, 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 get it together! Get it together! And, uh, oh, Beetle's. Okay, Beetle gets out his gun and he runs this way! Okay. Gotta go around, around the crates. He runs this way. 
So 5, 10, 15, 20, 10, 25, 10. 30. Yeah. Uh, Do the doors 20. get closed? He try, yeah, he tries to open this door. You see that it's locked. Fuck, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh, 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 uh can I... Can I shoot the doorknob? No, it's probably magically locked. You can, I you shoot can, it anyway. You can attack the door, the bust it down if you want. Yeah, I, I start just wailing on the door. I just start uh, like whacking the door with the Giselle, so I guess. Yeah, you're just trying to uh, bust it down. Go ahead yeah, and do yeah. me an arm armed attack on it. Just okay. to click the damage on it. I know you're going to hit it. Yeah. All right. Where are my fists? Where are my fists? Action. In your action Unarmed. section. There you go. Strike. It's 25. There you go. All right, you did a 25. Click the crit button for me, please. Okay. Wait, was that your crit button? That was my crit button. Hold up. I'm going to click that. Yeah, it was. Okay, you do two damage. <laughs> You're making your way through it. Oh, my God. So you did two movement and then one attack. Heart, it's your go. Also, you should be a... F no, that's right. I hit you. Go ahead. Uh, okay. So what I will do as part is that I will move. He he will look back to Gray, give a thumbs up, and go. I never make deals with the cops. And he <laughs> starts. He, he starts running after this guy. Yeah. Uh, he goes. He goes up here. Uh, I wish to go into mountain stains. And then for uh, one action, this is my one also action. Also, on your turn, my... you see the mist dissipate. Yes, this is one my one assailant action this turn. And that is, I want to grapple this guy. All right, let's grapple him. Uh, you remember yeah, how to boy. do that with the math and yes, all that? Yes, yes, I straight up do. Uh, awesome, here let's we see go. It. Here we go, baby. Uh, so here's the grapple, and... Uh, with an athletic check against this guy, if it succeeds, I will be able to not only make this guy not move, but Break potentially his get. Break his fingers. And you roll okay. a natural one. And you I can't got a nat it. one. I got a nat one, everyone. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you just complicated it. My backup character! You just complicated this. What complication I do I get, I will get the complication. <laughs> you, you just <laughs> fucked up. You just <laughs> fucked up. You <laughs> fucked it up. You <laughs> fucked Damn, this that sucks. up. <laughs> <laughs> When Wing Angel starts to play, it you never actually finishes. It just dun dun dun. dun. <laughs> you messed it up. That sucks. Where's the game? Let's see. <laughs> this fucking sucks. Fucking game. Fucking game. Let's see. Da 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 <laughs> okay, I'll take this from Red. This I think you used to, he submitted this like nearly a year ago. Um, actually, in in about twenty days, it was a year since they submitted this. So finally, get around it. And remember, if you too want to complicate, you can go to patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration, to where you can put your complication what happens on natural one to basically what happens with it. They can't reroll natural ones because we the hero point system makes it a little bit more fair, a little bit more evil to them. We're gonna take this from Red Fist. Uh, who, whose thing is called thank flinching. You, yeah, thank you. Called flinching. Uh, it says, a sudden flinch in your thought process makes you question your recent actions. Make a make a save. I want to make you uh, do a will save for me, please. Okay. And, yeah, um, yeah. and basically, for the will save, if you fail this will save, I got a which, uh, which you failed, uh, you go like, ah! and like you think he's about to get you for some reason. You move five mm -hmm. feet backwards. Okay. And they can go, Arr! and that provokes attack of <laughs> Oh God, I <laughs> wish I put it on him. Anyway, <laughs> and when you fall back, you, you run back, 
And yeah. I... And so with that, I think you have one action left, right? No, you did mountain uh, stance, so you're done. Yeah, that's done. All right, great. <laughs> Gray's gonna run after uh, Hart and go a little past him. I'm gonna have to move my my character sheet. It's in the way. <laughs> Where I usually put my character sheet was blocking the map, so I was just. Man, oh. You can pop. You can pop it out. Oh, I lose track of it if I do that. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Here. Blah. Okay, you move and up. See him in your sights. Him, yep, declaring him my uh, hunted prey. Double check my stuff. Ba -doop, ba -doop. And I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to aim for his. Uh, his his calf. I'm going to try. Yeah, well, I was going to say his oh. calf to get him to stop running. Okay. But I, I can go for his fingies. Let's say if you get if you get a crit, I'll allow him to be slowed. Fuck yeah. Okay. And a roll. That is a. No! Another natural one. My what the fuck, dude? <laughs> and my main character—they're all holding the sticks. Are you fucking kidding me? They're gonna kill my main character and all my backups. I am holding you responsible, holy, for my Froggy. entire character. Froggy. Roster. Froggy. I'm leaving. Oh, no. I'm leaving. Froggy. I'm quitting. Froggy, you just defeat the orc. That's where I'm going, man. That's where I'm going. <laughs> Beetle about to be an only child. I'm trying to open the door. I'm trying. Yeah, Beetle still has the stick. <laughs> I'm so mad. Looking for a good complication here. Let's see. What? Let's see. So for anyone who wonders, what are these complications and how can you get them? As Soren mentioned earlier, they do apply when we get criti uh, critical failures, not once. Specifically, if we just get a, a critical failure, we don't get them. It's specifically on nat once. And nat ones are not re-rollable. The end, uh, as he already mentioned. But if you want to apply one of these, if you want to make one of these actually appear in the game if you want your thing to have a chance to appear in our sessions you can go to the narrative declaration patreon and submit your own by joining that patreon and also it helps us keep on doing these cool shows i found one it's a very recent one so thank you to that i have to put their things into a very long explanation of it uh this is from spoocy Thank you, Spoocy, for this complication, who said, What did you say, you little? Pretty much consumed by the thrill of battle. Uh, if you if you think it's a good idea to deliver a scathing insult to an enemy you're attempting to attack, however, this insult unintentionally strikes a deep nerve in your opponent, sending them into an incandescent rage. For the rest of the combat, the enemy you've angered gains the quickened buff when targeting you specifically. Get back here, shardy! <laughs> I am not sorry. <laughs> I do not sort my pants. I'll kill you, you mongrel! And you'll see that he is incredibly, <laughs> incredibly enraged. Thank you so much for that complication. And so, really, Gray is just fucking cackling. She's just like, <laughs> you, you went, you saw, you missed. And now it's his turn. He goes straight to you. Yay! <laughs> he, go, he goes straight to you here, blocking Hart's path. And we'll, um... The issue with our camera system that I can't see Beetle, but Beetle's down there. <laughs> it's fine. He's just, just I'm a, smacking it or... Yeah, for some reason, the, the perspective can't see, even though it has an observation on you. Let me see if I can fix it's that fine. real quick. There. He's not going to aim at Beetle, right? Yeah, no, it's, for some it's, reason, it have a Zerg It's Shardy's it. turn. Beetle's irrelevant yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they yeah. have He's to see you still. Let me do a little refresh. Let me do a little refresh. You know, He's the music on the stop real quick. Beetle, right? He's you not know, aiming technical difficulties. <laughs> Got to keep him angry and distracted. Exactly. He, you see, he He's does seem... He's right? does seem very <laughs> distracted right now. So he will uh, aim over to Gray. And with his one movement, which was free, because you made him quickened, he has all three of his actions now, and he will declare you as his hunted prey. Oh, oh shit! Christ. 
Let's see. Da, 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 da. How the how the ta how the turns have tabled. <laughs> and he will attack you. Both Swing you with the falchion. Oof. Gets a solid head on you of a 29, dealing 23 Ooh. points of damage because you're his uh, hunted, hunted prey. Hunted prey. Whoosh! 23 points of damage. And uh, he will ah. get one more swipe on you with a minus five. Just bam! Gets right at you, hits you again, even at the minus oh five. God. Hits you for 24. Shring, shring. You see, this guy is skillful with his blade and just just, whoosh, just cuts into you for an additional 13 points of damage. Beetle, it's your turn. Uh, I need this door broken down, so I'm going to keep attacking. Uh, uh, I guess we're on our strike so. because... Let's do, let's do it. There's another action you can do to help you out. And I'll give you a little yeah. bit of bonus because you weakened the door a little bit. There's okay. an action you can do called shove. Okay. Or not shove. Uh, 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 force uh, open. Force open. Thank you. Okay. That's all I was uh, doing that. So go ahead and make, me, you can make me an athletics check. Okay. Otherwise, do you have the thievery skill, Froggy? Uh, don't believe so. Okay. Otherwise, you could have picked. Yeah. The, the and she would have or, thieves tools and all that other stuff. Yeah. But um. Okay, so that's a total of eighteen. You both you bust open the door for your one action. Oh, Boom! Sick. Door is open for some reason. I still don't have vision on you, so I'm just gonna drag a heart here just to get <laughs> us vision for some weird reason. For some reason, not give uh, us vision. But I'm um, gonna skirt around here, and I'm going to take a shot at the orc. <laughs> okay. You see the orcs is kind of there. Just no questions. Everyone's like, hey, like, Beto, where's all food? You're supposed to be getting this. <laughs> 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 the kobolds are just mech, 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 mech. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to uh, 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 device stratagem the orc. Uh, okay. Take a shot with the Giselle. That's 23. You get a hit. All right. That's a uh, damage. That's eight points of damage. Let's get it. goes. And you see that uh, the orc uh, will get shot. And now she's going to be put into initiative. Yeah. And a beetle will holler, mac, mac, which translates to throw away your sticks. <laughs> It's like, all right, I'll uh, I'll have that happen. Okay. <laughs> now it's her turn, and she'll look at all of them, and just because of your timely intervention, they all immediately throw their sticks to the ground, and they're like, huh, because they all believe in their brother. Oh. And all the stuff, they all just kind of throw it down, and you see the orc go. <laughs> And she looks around, they all threw the sticks on the ground, and they all just kind of fizzle. They all just kind of fizzle, and you see just like as the fire goes, and you see like there's like something that was like grabbing at something, and they all kind of have like a little, like not like a grenade, but for now it's like little explosions or so. so how much damage? Are you still holding yours, Beetle? Beetle still got his stick! Roll. Beetle! Like I'm picturing it just tucked into a suspension. Or some shit. And <laughs> Roll me forty twelve. Theme a reflex save. Can't reflex when it's on you. <laughs> it's like twelve. You take okay. seventeen points of damage. <laughs> oh, okay. It's cool. You know it would have killed everybody oh. else, but you're a hard and adventurer. You are trained. Yeah. You're a delver yeah. now. Well, you know, yeah, I'm a you're a hardier now. stock. I'm a Delver, I'm hardy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bleeding. <laughs> We're bleeding. We're bleeding. And We're bleeding. That'd be the end of that. Sorry, heart, for dragging you there. Uh, you are Don't now uh, back to here. It's your turn. Don't worry. It's all good, snoring. I wish to do a funny. Hey, Soren, wouldn't it be funny 
if this guy comes uh, comes along and he wants a bunch of evidence that we are weirdos and we're doing illegal <laughs> stuff, and then I grew to large size. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Let's for two see actions. For two actions, I will grow into a large size due to casting a large self on myself uh, from my feature, a stone ritual. Uh, so I turn large size and I. Let me see here, real quick. Throw it out here. That I target myself and I cast the enlarge spell. Alright, let's see it. Put enlarge upon yourself. Heck. Yeah, baby. Why? Come if on, you can't I can target do it. I can, myself. I can probably, no, I, you have to drag the buff on. Uh, yeah. It, that's not the buff, you have to click it, and then there's a Wait, spell effect spell large, effect which I got. There, you there go. we go. Yeah, baby. I grow big, yes. Yeah, and, you're uh, big now. Big now, arms everywhere, big scary mouth. Haha, -ha, there's maybe a human face in there. Ew. Uh, uh, as heart screams, this it's very high pitch in comparison to his size uh -huh. as it echoes throughout the city. And then he, uh, I want to, uh, with my last action, I want to flurry of blows this little man. All right, let's see it. Flurry of blows allows me to strike twice uh, for one action. My first attack is a 29. Good hit, good hit, roll damage. Arrgh! Just giant fist I comes in. I rolled I roll for 10. That's 10 points of damage to him. It's a critical miss, it's a nat one. You complicate <laughs> it. What the <laughs> you complicated it. There we go. Let's see. Also, that uh, moved me in game for some reason. My hotkey moved me in game. That was weird. If, if it's an up arrow or anything, it'll move you. Uh, uh, okay. Let's see. Because yeah, you can use that to move your tokens too, like a little video game. Um, let's see. Uh, this this one could. This <laughs> one could be a thing. Ah, oh, here we go. There we go. I'm gonna see what this person's thing is. The issue with doing all this in the Excel sheets is that uh, I don't get to see the description. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Rod Goods once again resetting the complication pool by spending all of it. I want intentionally. I want I want art that says. <laughs> that, uh, the couples are I, just eating faster watching. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do this one because this one seems pretty from My Name Jurors, who's a fantastic artist who's done a lot of art for us before. Uh, called hey. Currently Experiencing Connection Issues. Reality has a slight hiccup, and that's one of the powers that can be accidentally kicked the universe router, and you hear uh, the praise echo in the back of your mind. Check your internet connection. <laughs> you are relocated backwards halfway through the last side of movement you performed. Okay. So what we will do for there that. Go. Yeah, you're pretty much there. You're pretty much a space back. Thank you, jurors, nice. for that. So not only does he grow fucking huge. He also breaks reality when he does. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it's a double door. You're able to get back. Yeah, yeah it's fine. No, you're able to conveniently, conveniently fit. <laughs> at least I didn't clip into the wall. I'm just, yeah, imagining, sure. I'm just imagining one of the kobolds gets like lost somehow because like the door is still being busted down uh, earlier. Uh, and like they just like wander in. They just see this giant butt in the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> Big butt. Okay. Yeah, that's, so with that, that's my that's my turn. turn. Gray, get your go. Uh, so Gray's got a couple of swords in her gut right now. Um, mm -hmm. not the best. Uh, but she's going to uh. Oh God, hang on, I have to bring back. She's gonna use this chance to drag him closer to her and to bite at him. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That is, that is what I am doing. That's the crossbow. Roll, 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 please, 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 please. Good it's a bite. 10. It's a 10 for total 23. 
We're gonna okay. do some damage, 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 damage. For a total of 16, baby. Yeah, because it's your hunted prey. You go, Arrgh! you just rip into him. He's like, Arrgh! you I would. You're mighty, mighty. He's like trying to <laughs> get you off. And she, she will try to bite at him again with the negative five. All right, let's see it. It's a miss, but I want to re-roll with a hero point. All right, let's see it. Oop, got the hit. Ah, still missed. Same, same number. Same right. number. <laughs> it was a good roll. Made an attempt. Now, now it's his turn, and he will look to you, Gray. Still quickened. Actually, no, oh, no, it should go out after, after the next round, so it'll be gone after the end of this, his turn. I'm biting here. you, I'm biting you, I'm biting you. <laughs> so he will, he will striketh upon you. Swing! Only rolled a nine, but still hit you. He's very skilled. And, uh, actually, no, that is incorrect. It's supposed to be this damage. One second. There it's worse! Go. Yeah, 26. Swing! <laughs> This guy studied the blade. He did study the blade. Hit you for 26 <laughs> points of damage. Oh my and, God. Uh, for his second attack, whooshing, and he'll basically sweep again. He rolls a, he know, he rolls a natural one. Woo! Yeah, they don't Baby. complicate, unfortunately. I'm biting him, I'm biting him, I'm biting him. <laughs> I'm gonna spin a villain point and reroll that one. No! I'm going to go meet uh, Talim for some bottomless mimosas in the, uh, the eternal battlefield. It's OK. Uh, he missed and he's going to roll. Uh, he's going to try to strike you one last time. And he rolls another natural one. And I'm oh, going to villain God. point that How one. How many ones are there? Oh, I swear to God. And I miss again. Oh, thank <laughs> I just God. wasted villain points today oh, and uh, he does not get it. you. All right, Beetle. Uh, I shoot again. God damn it, Beetle. <laughs> Doing your best. That's Excellent. A Excellent shot. Not a nat 20, by the way. I'm assuming you reloaded first and then oh, shot. Oh, right, sorry. Yeah. I reloaded and then I shot. That's 16 points of damage. Boom. <laughs> you know, she's really hurt. Like you yeah, really I messed her up. Yeah, and uh, Abiel reloads again. Okay, so that'll be the end of your turn. Now for her, you've pissed her off. She sees that her spell has failed because of your ingenuity, but she knows she hurt you. And you go, and you see that she'll cast Produce Flame at you. Boom! Big shot comes in, but misses. I'm going to villain point that. But natural 20. Oh my Yay. god. Thanks, chat. So <laughs> this will be double the damage that'll be rolled here. That is gonna be 20 points of damage to you. <laughs> Boom! Big bolt just there's a big explosion hits you in the chest. And now you have persistent fire damage. No 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 Beetle's screaming for one of his sisters to get the big get some some water to put him out. Yeah Okay, so with that Chris the Cobalt burn the rod Heart, it's your turn. Save your friends. Due to being this size, Hart can actually at still attack this guy from here. I will spend one action to flurry of blows this man. All right, let's see it. I'm just gonna punch him away from Gray. <laughs> I rolled a 14 for a total Good of hit. 28. Roll two for a total of eight. And then my second one. Is a critical miss, but due to Shat's beneficial uh, benefits, I have uh, once again somehow obtained a hero point, and I will re-roll that attack for a 17 on die for another damage roll, and I get to roll the same amount, eight. Uh, <laughs> Why are you laughing? And then my. <laughs> 
And then on my third turn, uh, right, my you third hit him with this one. My, I hit him with that one. My, there you go. Yeah, my second attack that I do uh, is my second action is my third attack rather. Uh, so I attack him one uh, a third of a time and uh, good. Hey, got a nineteen on the die. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and I roll for nine damage. Yeah, your and, acts are uh, just like he's just getting just pummeled by you, just all your fists and everything just plowing oh, no, into no, him. Oh no, 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 Soren, don't worry about this. I'm huge now. All of this will thematically be that he slams down his fist once. <laughs> just, <laughs> <laughs> yes, my the fourth big box. action. My fourth action, since one action allowed me to attack twice, I will attack him a fourth time. That's sadly yeah. a critical miss at a two, but it's still three slams on this guy as one massive hand just shoots out from from the inside of the Should. building. Give me a second. The thing's broken. I should have a villain. I am. Um... There we go. I have a friend who is currently watching us in yeah. Discord and not actually like in the chat. Mm. Um, and I get, get a DM. Stamped. I get a DM that just says, "Bite Shardy." <laughs> <laughs> well, it is your turn now. What would you like to do? I would like to continue to bite. There you go. I'm just going to keep on. He's getting slammed by this giant fist. And like Gray is like whenever whenever he like like whenever the fist raises back up, Gray just yeah. kind of goes back into just <laughs> more. Oh, I saw rolled that. Eight, you do hit. I hit. Yep. I rolled a 14 for a total of 27. A total uh, 13. Good hit. He's bleeding severely. You've just taken chunks of him. He's like, huh, get away from me! <laughs> Flea ridden man! <laughs> What's just... wrong, Shardy? You <laughs> are a <laughs> civilized beast! <laughs> 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 and she'll uh, she'll go to bite again using the neck of fire, baby. That's a that natural, natural one. Are you serious? Are you I'm serious? All right, all right. Hit me with the complication. Hit me with the complication. Oh. Can we get new dice? Oh. <laughs> a JoJo in chat. I'm throwing these dice. Oh, I, don't. I, can... oh, I see one that's such a dick move. When I, I can't, I can't do it. I you can't do it. it. Soren. I you can't can do, do it. it. You can. What is it? Uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Come on. Do the come funny on, Zard, one. What is it? Do the come funny. on, Zard, What is it? All right. Uh, I'll take this from Natacom for our uh, Patreon member. Thank you, Nata. Uh, who says, oh, great. They have guns now. Oh. Each opponent rolls an additional <laughs> D10 for their attack rolls and additional D8 uh, for their dice rolls. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna supplement that for just just the extra damage. It's a bit too much, man. Um, they have guns. Pick one of the following. Finish the flavor attack. You have an out. How can I have a tree? You have a bucket. You have some DLC. What the fuck? Anyway, I want to say <laughs> that he takes out a gun and will shoot you. <laughs> okay. Like, ah! He just has a gun now. Yeah, he does a little extra damage. Is pretty much what's what I'm gonna go for that one on hit on when he attacks you, and it's gonna be his turn. Uh, I think your action was just to bite him. Yeah. And buy him again. Oh, uh, you have one action left. Yep. Unless you oh, uh, yeah, you already had him as your hunted prey, so you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh I think after that she's gonna after her failed attempt, because it maybe he wiggled free. May, maybe he yeah. wiggled away. She's gonna she's gonna take some some steps back. She's gonna move back. Okay. She's fucked up. She he, she may be manic, but she is fucked up. <laughs> he is still quickened. No, he's not quickened anymore, so he's back to normal. My bad. So he has three actions normal now. He's still mad at you per the co last 50 complications <laughs> before and will step up to you a little bit out of line of sight of heart. The heart only thing you now see Help. is just him with the sword reaching back the stab and <laughs> he he would miss, but I have a villain point. My last one. <laughs> and I missed again. He goes in for another slash. Whoosh. And he misses that one. He's trying to get you, but that's all his actions. 
That's all he can do. And you are very gonna, low. For fourth. context, Gray is like under one one fourth of health. Like like just. I like have eight dying. HP left. I have been. I've distracted this man so good. He wants me. He wants my lunch money. He wants my life. <laughs> Beetle, it's your turn. I shoot her. <laughs> you shoot her again. Let's see it. You shoot the oh, orc. Yeah. You shoot the orc fire wizard that you're seeing. You say smack smack, which translates to "If I die, I'm taking you with me." <laughs> so as you fire with with all the stuff, you notice that all of your family members have been hiding under tables, have stools over for cover because yeah. they know your aim. So they're like, ah. <laughs> so they're all just <laughs> on fire shooting. Do yeah, with all the smoldering playing. fire sticks down below, and um, you said you fire and deal eleven points of damage. And boom! She's still up, but still very much hurt. You think another attack like that will do it? So yeah. you've you got you can reload so and shoot again. I reload and I shoot again. That looks like a hit to me. It's a hit. That's 17 points of damage. You've been doing a uh, strategic strike the entire time. Have I? Yeah. yeah. And which adds all that damage. Are you serious? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wait, where, yeah. where, how do I turn on your, it off? On, where we'll it? always remember on your action, you have a thing called devise a stratagem, which is what you do to get all oh, that extra stuff. Oh, fuck me, I forgot to uncheck it. Holy shit. So roll damage for me again. I am so sorry. <laughs> I was sitting here like, you're hitting real fucking hard yeah, for a gun. Oh shit, I am so I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. say so sorry. I'll say that's okay. I'll give you your protecting your family buff. That's you my can, game master fix. You you could so. also like you could give her some health back. I'm so sorry. I no. had no I So a here's idiot. the thing. There there's a lot of rules where your lawyers have come in and comments and stuff and be all like, Oh my god, you messed up and da da da. You know what? For stuff like this, shit happens. This is how it is for tabletop RPGs. We fuck up sometimes. We miss our tool, mess up, and we're using Foundry. There's a bunch of buttons to press, so yeah. that's fine. My game master solution is protecting your family buff you didn't know you had. You're fine okay. for your family you, right now, so that's fine. Do you fine. want me to redo the damage from my last roll as well? Nope. Or do I, you're good. No, wait, I'm going to keep it. Twice already. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you don't well, damage twice. I'll take the four. I'll take the four yeah. you did, and I'll just say I'll just say that you were very fervent on your thing. You're on okay. fire. I'm everything so else. Sorry. I'm no. so sorry, my goodness. It's okay. <laughs> Shit happens. You keep forgetting you're an investigator sometimes. So do you know, we might do you know how we solve this? Uh, if this is Beatles' current lead, this is actually how investigators work. Then you don't need to spend an action to do it. Yeah, uh, we'll just here, we'll just say that logic. We'll just say okay, that logic. I feel terrible. So, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so with that with that logic, we'll take your 17 you did and you kill her. I Absolutely, bad. it is okay because okay. by by Salty's logic that works out. So bam, gone. She's so dead. Just falls backwards. <laughs> it falls out. Bundles of sticks fall out. They all. It's like and you notice all all elated. the all the sticks. Uh, basically, as they fall down, they just kind of just fall down, like disintegrate into ash. And so and so does she, leaving behind oh. like her clothes and everything. Oh. Heart, it's your go. Also, you're still yeah. on fire, by the way. Um, I, am, I don't want to yeah. click that recovery check button there. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 I've never had to do this before. In recovery chat. Check. Recovery. It's a flat D20, and let's see if you're not on fire anymore, or else you're oh, going to take six. You. Nope. You're going to take uh, like six points of damage. Failure. <laughs> I, have th I have three HP left. Yeah, remember, Another you are a medic. I see you standing there. Yeah. You are you are the uh, <laughs> you are the healer. Heart is your go. I have no turns left. Heart will actually like just get out of here. Um, he will crawl out. Um, and instead of like standing like a normal human being, this is like a y just a a tripod of arms is just <laughs> crawling out <laughs> from this position just this creature of arms is just moving out then gets up in a humanoid position stares down at this individual that is trying to stab 
one of the people that Hart cares the most about in this entire world. I want to decimate this man, Soren. Okay, let's see it. Yeah, uh, as usual, I flare up blows for one action, allowing me to strike him twice. Oh, wait, I didn't target him. Uh, 20 wouldn't hit, right? Uh, no. Yes, so my next roll is a that'll 19. That'll hit. For yeah, that'll do it. I rolled nine damage. Awesome. Just boom, right into him. You see he's holding on by a hair. My third action is to strike him. That's, That's another complication. One, <laughs> I'm fighting oh, God. God. If you too Jesus. would like, if you too would like to contribute to our suffering, patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration. Today's the day. <laughs> Today's the day. <laughs> you finally get your stuff. Let's see here. Uh, da, ba, ba, ba. That's average <laughs> one nat one each turn. Oh my God. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, I don't have to look through this spreadsheet anymore. I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> it's like, bring it out again. All right. I got it. This is a nice, yep. simple one. Thank you, GC Russ, for this one called Tinnitus. Uh, Dude, I love Players tonight. deafened until combat ends. Yeah, so he doesn't heart. have ears when he's big. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Heart is now deafened. Yeah, he screams. He's a massive um, mound of arms right. trying to slam this thing. Gray, it's your turn. Gray you is going to use... Did, did you have a last action left? Did I skip you hard or are you good? Uh, no, no, that, okay, that's it. That's yeah, it. Go ahead, Gray. My bad. Gray is going to use the last of her energy, the last of her everything, to give him one final bite aiming for his neck. Oh, let's see it. Please, 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 please. That's a miss on a two. I'm re-rolling, have... I'm re-rolling, I'm re-rolling, re-rolling using hero point. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. Oh, that doesn't do it. You got, you got to do another attack. Oh my God. Another attack. All right. Let's see another natural one. <laughs> Almost. No. You can That's re-roll. A five. You can re-roll. You can re-roll. You, yeah, I can re-roll. You can re-roll. I can re-roll that one with a... It's, uh, it's oh, no. oh, that's it's a hit. For a total of 22. That's a hit. Let's see it. His heart is flanking now. Eight. I have rolled a four for a total of eight. How do you kill him? She lunges for him and she just absolutely just tears in his throat into his jugular with her big old teeth. She's laughing the entire time. She is manic, she is tired, she has lost a loved one. She does not care right now. This man has threatened more and more going on and she's just ready to get rid of him. Hyena.mp3. Hyena.mp3. You shake him like the beast he is and uh... He's just dead in your jaws now, but we still have a thing to resolve. Hey, Beetle. I'm on fire. <laughs> yeah, we need to resolve that first to see if you just plop down dead and start burning to death. So, uh, yeah. what do you want to do? Um, well, I assume there's no way for me to stop, drop, and roll. Uh, you can actively try to recover yourself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click do this and it'll do the stuff. Uh, okay. you can, for all three of your actions, you just keep trying. Okay. Just click that recovery check uh, until it, yeah. at most three times. If you succeed, okay. you're done. For, for the first action, he, he drops down. One failure. <laughs> tries to stop dropping roll. Okay, I failed. Um, okay, I roll a second time. Another oh failure. Okay, for the, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, Bill gets up and he's freaking out and he, he starts like doing battle medicine on himself while he's on fire. Jesus Christ! As you're doing, that's right, Beetle, that's right. As you're doing battle medicine on yourself, you see I'm Thelma come in with a bucket of water and... Yeah. <laughs> I'm and doing assurance, so that's, that's 2d8. Yeah, 2d8. And you're no longer on fire and you heal yourself. Oh, great. Oh, great. For, for, for eight, eight points of damage. Yeah. And so with that... Okay. Combat is now over. Nice. Gray's gonna collapse in a pile because she's very bleedy.
Hart's gonna be big and scream and starts wandering up alongside the walls. Oh. Uh, oh. Heart, heart, buddy. Heart, oh. heart. Oh. <laughs> oh no. I'm big and mad. I'm gonna stand Go up and scream. What? <laughs> <laughs> You just sure. fucking just wailing. Yeah. Okay. This attack on Titan stuff comes here. Like, you need to know. Cleric Beast of MP3. Okay. At uh, at heart screaming, Beetle's gonna and get up and start running over. <laughs> I ran into a wall. You <laughs> run back this way. I ran into a wall. I ran into a wall. <laughs> oh god! Hard, get down from there! He's deaf. Ah! <laughs> Can't believe Hart's a cow ah! Okay, well. He, he's deaf. He's what just. Did, he's just on the building. He can't screaming. be up there doing that. We're wanted criminals. You can't be doing that. Gray and, and uh. Gonna go over and Gray, I'm gonna start rapidly slapping her with some aloe vera, with some uh, band aids. Do they have dinosaur band aids? Um, like no. drawn on. <laughs> no, they're all these really ugly, yeah. scowly brown bears with a book. <laughs> the worst ones, they're the worst quality. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to a medicine check. It's a band-aid with the letters. You deserved it on it. You fail I, the message. Yeah. That's awesome! You want to re-roll it? You got two hero points. Yes! <laughs> okay, thank God. Okay, that is a crit uh, 40. <laughs> the heal for gray. But uh, as you're doing that, you got to see um, heart just, uh, you know, being all large, deaf, everything, super mad. And uh, and hard, you see several lights kind of appear in front of you, just, just kind of dancing in front of you. And you see a trail of them kind of leading back to your friends. And if you notice, uh, even, even though you can't hear- Oh, no, I healed myself! Uh, <laughs> it's actually 40, 48 plus five, since you're an investigator. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll just do that. Just do that to yourself. Yeah, plus more. Yeah, plus five. Uh, you just want to edit that on yourself, Gray. Um, but you notice that the it's dancing lights, uh, just kind of leading you back to the thing. You see Lorne kind of have his staff, and he's just kind of making them dance, trying to corral you back in. He starts looking down, where where there would be eyes, there there are none. It's just pitch black, teeth everywhere. There there's just drip edge. Of tears where tears would be uh, where like you know whatever and this big mound of arms start just flopping off like sludgy meat or wet clay Ugh. down on top of the uh, on the roofs and then just regular heart appears normally I'm sorry I'm sorry <laughs> and he just jumps down you're speaking, I, I, speaking louder I'm, than normal. Yeah, I'm. I'm a bit torn up. Okay, I'm sorry. That's okay. Just come on back. Okay. He starts like uh, just sliding down. Grace gonna just stay on the ground. She's very tired. <laughs> Beetle's gonna lay down next to her. So are we like? <laughs> We're we're like leaving town, right? It's a. Uh, you say that Lauren and Hollow would just kind of look at each other, going, "Well, well, you killed one of a an Aegis here, and they're one of the you know, basically spies here for the Tyrant's Guild. So they're going to be asking questions, and if they know your faces, you." You. They might be looking for you, but they do have their hands full, considering the fact they only sent one and not an entire hit squad to come after you. I think you'll be safe for a while. Definitely laying low or going somewhere not here for a bit will definitely be advised. Oh, I'm bad at that. 
We'll plant the bodies. Yeah. We'll plant them somewhere else, and we'll make it look like some kind of betrayal or freak accident where we'll, we'll pour that old lady's dust all over him. We'll pour, uh, pour the ashes all over him. Something happened to him. We'll, we'll burn him a little Beetle, bit. stop what? talking. My okay. head hurts. Oh. <laughs> Hart puts a hand on Holic's shoulder. Mad respect. <laughs> Holic will just kind of tap your hand and go, um, thanks. <laughs> yeah. uh, walks over. I will start removing the evidence, Soren. Okay. How would you like to remove I... the evidence? Eating. Oh! Uh, right! Hard, no! We can plant that somewhere else! Stop! Sure. Yeah, because if, if this is the last place they're found slash seen, they're going to be suspicious of this place. So mm. if we plant the corpses somewhere else and make it look like something happened somewhere else, I, it'll it'll it take some attention off of the, the uh, restaurant. It, I, I do we know we could dissolve the body down to bones if we knew how? Do we? Pollock, no. would you be able to do that? Yes, but, I know how to take care of come here. unwanted bodies. We can still take the bones somewhere else, Beetle. I need to... Well, they know it's I... him. They, they need to recognize him. Looks at the guy whose, like, entire lower face part is ripped off by teeth already, <laughs> and he has been slammed into the ground by a massive fist. <laughs> I don't know, Beetle. Like... His clothes, maybe. Ugh. Acid. Yeah. Pollock, Acid. Pollock will come in and be like, I went now downstairs or in the basement. I've set up my entire alchemy area. I can yeah. easily dissolve all the evidence. Hart grabs the corpse. I'll help you out with that. Looks down at Beetle. You, you, you take care. You take care of Grace. Grace taking a nap now. She's out. <laughs> Okay, uh, I want his clothes. I'm gonna, I know that he came here from, a, I'm assuming, some, wherever the tyrants, if they've got like a, like a, an oh yeah, HQ. right. I'm going to take his clothes, uh, his remains, once you've gotten rid of the proof of his, like, death, how he died. I'm gonna take all mm. of that and I'm gonna mm. plant it somewhere between here. And the place that he left from, so it looks like something happened to him on the way. Um, Hart points towards the window. You see all your sisters looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> all, so you see like a whole inside. crowd of smushed up faces. Yeah. Just your looking your at brother you. is a very honorable and noble individual, and Hart starts dragging this corpse away with Holic. I've never done anything wrong. Would you like if, to loot the not guy? Committing crime. Oh yeah, if you guys want anything out of him, yeah, sure. Yeah, he yeah. is currently holding. Oh yeah, and, oh, yeah a... Beetle wanted all of his stuff, so yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I will so, take the body. Okay, so he had a crossbow, a falchion. Some studded leather armor. Uh, he had manacles and uh, ten bolts. And I moved okay, it all into so, the party loot. Well, and a pistol, canonically a pistol. So it's it's it's, well, all, it's degraded now. Okay. <laughs> I, I was gonna pistol. say, uh, I don't I don't know if we could take his armor or the manacles because Beetle is going to insist that those be planted with the bones somewhere between. Elma and mm. and the Tyrant's Guild HQ or whatever the closest outpost would be for them. Should he's I gonna just throw it in the hole? <laughs> like, like, no, he's going to try and make it look like something happened before he could get to the Elmas. Hart looks at his two companions and goes, um, I, I, I want you guys to know that I never intended for him to be able to leave this place alive to begin with. I know, so I, I saw no reason. <laughs> I know, buddy. Thank you. I no, know. Grace asleep. <laughs> yeah, Grace asleep. And Beetle's right next to Grace, so when Grace snores, he, he can't hear Hart. 
<laughs> Harp can't hear himself, so yeah, it's fine. Yeah, but Beetle keeps nodding, and Beetle's like, I know. I know. Thank you. Thank I you. Know. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, he's just nodding, so Harp, like, yeah, I'm seen. I'm heard. Yeah, yeah. All right. So to, to, to summarize, I'm, yes. to, I'm sorry to take agency right real quick, just, just for time's sake. That, uh, yeah. Just gonna just draw all the evidence. Let Hollock take care of it. Yep. Pretty much, pretty like much. you you help Hollock out, get the body, get the body all that stuff. That. Yeah. He's Hollock knows what he's doing. It is scary and how good he is. Um, yeah. You all go down to his lab and everything. He's just like, <laughs> and just putting yeah, all like, the body oh, stuff. He is a he serial takes, killer. <laughs> he bundles the bones, put them in a package, grinds them up in the bone mill. All that. he's just going the work. Like, Harp asks he's... so many questions during this time when his hearing start slowly comes back and he just wants to learn how the heck Holic started with all of this. And, uh, he has so much respect for this man now. And um, <laughs> what are you going to do with the other person? Plant them with this guy. I, I have a question, yeah. uh, Beetle. Yes. What do your sisters eat? <laughs> um frogs oh no i have a question oh, no you know anything like, <laughs> when you come back into the room <laughs> you see that the wizard you killed has been eviscerated to the bone <laughs> and all of them all have like just just a skeleton it's like like ants just went after this thing and oh y'all see a, y'all see that uh that uh, that's uh, your mom, or so will basically be like, it's like, you did such a good job, sweetheart. You protected the family. You went in, you fed everyone. Oh, you such a good son, and you help pay mama's rent. And I'm gonna keep helping you pay it. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. I yeah. was always so proud of you. She takes your cheek and kind of tugs it and everything. Now, remember, if you ever run into any of those, you know, buffoons, you just got to send them, send them to, to the family. You know, we always <laughs> like to just, you know, get rid of things here and there. Yeah, I know. Beetle? The girls are hungry. <laughs> Beetle, is your family part of the mafia? <gasps> yeah, no, we work in a family. library. This yeah. is just the family. <laughs> ah, ah, yes, I see. It's just the family. We work in the library. Yeah, bookings and all that. I mean, I mean, so... I mean, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you, dearie. You know, you protected me, and, and oh, you were such a good job out there. And she pats Hart's uh, kind of leg there because she, she can only reach up there. You just such a good job. You have such a strong friend. <laughs> Thank like, you, man. So wonderful. Beetle and, is uh, the stronger one, though. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I mean, she has working eyes, heart, but thank you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, in, 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 in competency, you are stronger. I'm like, what big. are you talking about? Okay, I'm just going to take the skeleton because I'm going to use it to plant evidence. What? Thanks. Mommy, <laughs> I'm like, I'm big. I can cook. I'm fast. That's about it. That's like, about you, it. Can, That's you, you can. You can. You can read, you can write, you can like help people when they're sick. You can shoot people. I can't shoot a gun. Have you seen my hands hold a gun? Uh, no. I exactly. don't think I ever have seen you hold a gun. <laughs> exactly. Because weapons break when I hold them. <laughs> All right. Uh, well. See, you are more skilled than me. And he just pats Beetle. On the so. note of how strong I am, I'm going to need your help carrying this stuff down the road. We're going to have oh, to put it in something inconspicuous. Oh, yeah, big time. So, oh, uh, yeah, okay, great. Let's, let's, let's summarize things for time. Uh, yeah. how, what skill check would you like to do to plant evidence? So, uh, I guess that would be deception, right? Mm, yeah, let's do... Or maybe... In, Tell me how you will do it, and I'll think of a role for you. Okay, so my plan is I take the remains and, like, proof of identity. So the guy's mm -hmm. armor, 
which is why I was like, oh, maybe we don't put it out in the group chest because he's going to take everything necessary to identify the bodies. Yeah. And he's going to put them part way to the Elmas. So it looks like something happened to them and they were just eviscerated before they even got there or maybe on their way back. Could you do it with medicine due to being like literally a forensics? Yeah, maybe because of the way that the remains have been completely just fucked up. The way that they died probably won't be able to be determined. So, so to, to make sure to clarify, you do not want Holic, which we established before, was going to take care of the bodies for you. You want to do it yourself, right? Yes, that was what Beetle was insisting. Okay. That Beetle would take care of it. All right, so go ahead and Beetle, roll. Go ahead and God. roll me thievery or deception, or okay. crafting, whichever one you want to try. I'll do crafting. That's a total okay. of twenty-three. All right, can I'll I, keep check on that. Listen, Beetle mentioned he's read a lot of true crime. Yeah. You can try to help. Remember, if you go down the DC or whatever, you will harm it, so. Of course, but I will and answer Riona's question why it's on the D&D thing and not the Pathfinder. Um, Twitch is a kingmaker system, and that's why. Yes. So it's not my uh, fault. Twitch is the fault. Yeah. Uh, 17. For that. Okay, I'll keep mine of that. Yeah. And he's specifically going to plant the bodies in an alleyway. Like, so it looks like yeah. something happened off the road. Okay. That's set and everything. And I assume you all return back to the tavern. Lauren will try to corral everybody mm-hmm. back and stuff and invite you in to his suite. Uh, basically, um, it, it looks just like any normal room but just a lot more little amenities like a sink and stuff and everything else it looks it, it looks nice very well put together uh Lauren will bring you all in and say it's like please take your time as you uh you know heal up and everything here here take take some of these potions and he'll hand he'll hand everybody some potions in which will pretty much they seem pretty potent potions and just heal everybody heal yourself back up the full as he uh takes care of everyone here you see this old man will um, sit you sit you all down and he's just like, after talking to the Holic and things that he's seen and uh, very other contacts that I was discussing with, I've I found the answer to what you more than likely found down there. Okay. What you be wary of. It is something called a blot. Pretty much these things originate from the continent of Amari, like here in Outset, and they normally are not really created here in here in Outset, but far down to the continent of Amari rest a kingdom. It is called the Kingdom of Dern. Individuals there are... Let's say I encourage you to be wary if you encounter any of them. My journeys there have been sort of misleading. Very lovely folks. More than happy to share bread at a table with you all. But it's always for a motive. They always are out for something. And with Curdenand here, arriving at his airship here at Outset, it's something to bewilder that all of a sudden he shows up and blocks have occurred here, brought in a lot of questions for me. Because normally those blocks are what happens when something goes awry over in their kingdom when something go becomes infected. So if that infection has spread here, it is something for a huge concern, which would explain why the Tyrant's Guild was so active in that area, because if something like that ever spreads to people, it would be a massive pandemic. So next time you see any of those things run, run like the wind, and there's these particular crystals here, and he'll kind of tap on it here with a with a wand that he kind of has kind of on a table as you guys are either sitting with him or so. From the letter that you've given to me and everything, what I can surmise is right. Someone is in here, and he taps the crystal. Someone is in there? A soul, a being, something. And what? it seems whatever it was ate the person. Wait, say again? 
From, from what the research uh, paper you give me surmises, what I've been able to find out, and from a various books you're going to mention, I'm sure put case and stuff, this thing, and from my travels, this thing holds the atma of a being. Basically, someone's life force. That it ate? That it ate. Uh, Beetle hops up and fucking scurries over to snatch the... <laughs> He will, he will hit your hand like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gray will like, hey, lift. Hey, hey. Gray will lift a very ragged finger and just kind of go quietly. Could that possibly be Talim? That could be Talim! Beetle's jumping up and down, trying to grab it still. It's like, as you try to grab it, he's just like hey, taking the staff and pushing you away. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> just puts the foot on my chest. <laughs> fucking vomit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. It could be. I'll have to investigate. Now I'll have to investigate and see whose atma is within this crystal. But, um. But uh, it'll it'll take some time, and you definitely need to lay low, try to get out of here a little bit, and I recommend you do so. It's okay. We've got a job. We'll be out of Pet Town for a little bit. Yeah. What kind of job? <laughs> Find a guy. Yeah, we gotta find a guy and smuggle him into the town. You know, because our smuggler friend is gone. Gray will pat uh, Pat Hart's shoulder. He'll there, he'll there. rub he'll rub his beard and goes like, "Ah, see, well, well, at least allow me to help you with your adventure." And he will he will scrounge over and hand you guys a a bottle of invisibility. <gasps> and like, I only have one, but <gasps> it can help. How many? Thank uh, you portions would you say is in this bottle? Just one? one. Just one. one. Before Tell we you. leave, before yeah, go, we go. leave um, could the three of us stay in this room for a bit? I know that it like, it likes to go away, but um, Soren. Yes. Uh, Mr. Lorne Barnes had a very short time amount of time to view this last time. Since last time, he did. Beetle sort of ran away with it and screamed and had a very like big stress moment and what? a panic I, attack I, in, I don't, in the kitchen. I don't, even, I don't even remember what you're talking about. I don't know uh, what you're talking about. Uh, Hart wants to try to pull out the uh, the crystal medallion, the talisman. Oh, the amulet. Yeah. Uh, as, you, as you're as you looking around, you do see it conveniently, like as you thought it, it's on your wrist. Yeah. Uh, he puts it forward. Now that it has an additional, you know, gemstone in it. Um, you see, uh, you see it does, does resonate a little bit when you bring it up and you see the crystal that's on the table go, wah, 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 just kind of like pulsate a little bit. It seems that it's it swaps places between the it used to be the four of us, but now it's just the three of us. Um, you can make it can if you, you try. <laughs> what what can you make? What can you make out of this, Mister Lauren Barnes? And mm. uh, Hart holds out his wrist for him to look at this. this he'll look at it. He'll do the. He'll he'll look he'll kind of like adjust his eyes like the old man peering down at a paper thing, <laughs> and he'll <look> like <laughs> and goes like, "Well, it seems to be resonating with the crystals inside. If uh, if you give me that gem, I can start working on it. It might help out. Give me more of a lead of who's in there." I don't want you to be a part of this. If it's um, Talim said it might be cursed. The elves didn't want anything to do I, with it. Yeah. I don't want the talisman. If if you can etch that gem out, I can just take that. Ah, uh, that doable? Talim would have been Try. able to do it. Hard looks down at it. Not sure. 
my big stupid hands could probably not get it out properly. I, I think try. your hands could do it. Come on, you can try. We could all try. What should I roll, Sorn? <laughs> roll me crafting. Roll me crafting, all right. Crafting. I rolled a three for a total of ten. <laughs> you seem to... It doesn't you seem, budge. You seem to struggle. Uh, would anybody else like to grab it? Oh, I'll yeah. give it a shot. I'll roll next. You can go first. I rolled a little Oh, oh wow! Beetle watches heart palm it, passes to Gray. Gray palms it. <laughs> All right. A uh, total of twenty six. There you go, Beetle. There's a kink. You know that's out, but you see it's a. You see it lets you do it. Like normally when you would look at this thing or whenever flash in your vision. Uh, you seem to be pretty embedded in there. You're gonna need specialized tools to get it, but for you, as if as if it kind of liquidizes a little bit, and lets you just take it out just fine. Hey, see, I told you, I told you. Uh you are Beetle great. Holds, Beetle does the thing where you hold the rock up to the light, and you like twist it around just to look at how pretty it is. Like to you, it is one of the most beautiful gems you've ever seen. It also it summons doesn't... clown visions of your family, so. <laughs> That's true. Now the red one does that. Uh, uh, you're gonna praise to see how much it's worth. Ooh, I can? You can. Oh yeah, okay, I wanna do that. Would that be another crafting check or? Yeah, yeah, crafting would do it. Okay. Unless you have mercantile lore, which I think the one you did have is gone. I don't got that shit. Uh, that's a total of 20 though. Uh, for, for at least for that, you know, this would go for an extremely large amount of money for the right person. Mm -mm. Beetle's hand is shaking you, so mortgage, stiffly as he... Mortgage paid for. A mortgage yeah. paid for. Your family would never go yeah. hungry. Everything would pay for. They yeah. would all afford their, you know, school debts, everything else. It is literally in your hands right now. Right now. For everyone here, everyone here would live like kings if you found the right person for this. Beetle's Great. eyes clenched so bad. Hey, Green Soren. nudges, uh, just, nudges just Beetle to... like, hey, come on, hand it over. <laughs> hey, Soren, can I right. do a thing? What's up? For a narrative declaration, can this small gem that was made from this look like a screaming face? <laughs> oh, fucking... No, I'm Beetle not. Beetle still really wants it. Okay. And to everyone okay. else, Beetle, okay. like, once he gets it out of the redstone, he looks like he wants it so badly. And um. he's so slow and rigid to extend it to Lorne, but he ultimately does. Okay, you hand it to Lorne, and he'll go, I'll start getting work on it right away. Just be back okay, with uh, me in a couple of days. I should have made progress by then. Uh, okay, you won't lose it or anything. Absolutely not. I will be right mm -hmm. here. Okay. Beetle wrings his hands. Good job, Beetle. Oh, well, well, you made. Oh, right, because I got it. <laughs> right, because I got yeah, it. Yeah, right. you got it out. I can see <laughs> yeah. you. Uh, you were you were looking at it a little intensely there. I. 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 You did the right thing. I. I. I know. I'm just thinking about mom. I know. Yeah. It's never easy. Yeah. If it was easy, then everyone would be doing it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm proud of you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Lorne. We appreciate absolutely. your help. Absolutely. Have a good sleep, all. It sounds to me that your smuggling mission is going to be very interesting. I'm, I'm still sore. A, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take an aloe vera bath. <laughs> <laughs> And so I'll with that, be on as the you, stables if you need me. <laughs> as you guys, as you guys leave, um, leave Lauren's uh, suite, and you guys either go back to your rooms, maybe you go outside just to stare up at the sky, whatever you choose to do. Wave goodbye to the family as they all leave the tavern, uh, all leaving a very generous tip, which makes Vina nearly faint, and. <laughs> uh, and as they all leave, and and, uh, and Thelma gives you all ten gold for helping out, which is still Yay! a large amount of money, Aaron outside. It, it, it's a and, lot uh, of money. 
So, and yeah. you can add 10 gold for your thing. He's like, like thanks. <laughs> you know, like, Beetle thanks for coming takes that 10 in. gold, sprints after um, his family outside the door, puts it in his mom's hand. <laughs> as you all do that, I assume you all sit down the plan uh, with all the details of trying to smuggle the supposed arsonist, the supposed terrorist of outset Baldrick Weathers, someone that you've seen on a bounty board before. And so on, you're going to have to figure out how to smuggle him from the swamps of the solitude outside of Outset, inside of the city. And you see you right through the gates is one of your best options. And we'll see what happens next time on Raccoons. Ah! Come on, chat screaming, 10 gold! <laughs> <laughs> But yay, we're done. I hope everyone had a fantastic time. Just to kind of smore from time because I think people need to leave and stuff. Uh, thank you all so much for coming to watch. You guys have been absolutely amazing. Um, thank you so much. Minerva, where can people find you? People can find me over at Twitch and Twitter under Party Demoness. Uh, and uh, love to have you in my neck of the woods. Can't wait to see you. And we wouldn't mention Cabal. Be sure to uh, visit Cabal's channel at twitch.tv forward slash Cabal, who used who to play the lame. <laughs> yeah, who? That's also who where you can find me. You can find me on uh, twitch.tv forward slash Cabal. Although sometimes I am also under twitch.tv forward slash Heavenly Father. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Okay. But of course, you can find our our lovely person who plays Beetle at twitch.tv forward slash Froggy Lock. And of course, <laughs> we have the ever fantastic artist Salty Job. Where can they find that's you? That's me. That's me. You can find me at Salty Job on Twitter and on Twitch. I don't stream that much uh, right now, dating this episode. But, uh, <laughs> but I will be coming back within due time. And of course, with that, I have been your host and Game Master Zone the Bear. Thank you all so very much for watching. Remember, if you liked everything that we do here and you want to support the project because it takes a lot of money to run this stuff, production values, all that fun stuff, you can help us out at patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration. Watch the VODs on YouTube. You can listen to us on podcast forums. Everything narrative declaration. Literally, just Google us. You know, as an egotistical way of saying it, and uh, <laughs> order our website we need for everything. More complications. Yeah, please. that we you need want PDFs, God. you know, PDFs, the maps we use, some of the art pieces we use, all that fantastic stuff. We all put it up on the Patreon, and also yeah. fun stuff is being planned for the Discord as well. If you like playing Pathfinder Second Edition, but everyone, thank you all so very much for watching. We'll see you all next time. So long, farewell, and Good see you next bye. time. Goodbye. We'll see you. We'll see you.